What's going on, everyone? It's Dan here, guys. I want to welcome you all back to Gran Turismo 7. Today is the official launch of the game, but obviously we had a little bit of an early copy, so we were able to get a bit of a head start in it. And I'm excited to be back and, you know, continuing our GT simulation mode, the career mode. Um, we made a good chunk of time, or a bunch of leeway, I guess you could say, in the in the first stream, we got our B grade license and we completed a ton of events and uh, menu books and all that sort of thing. So we're going to keep that alive. I feel like the way it's going to work, I'm going to try and sort streams based on, um, <clears throat> excuse me, like the license center. So like essentially we do all the events under national B license. Then we do all of the, uh, you know. All, all the uh, all the events under the national A, and then it's like, well, we're going to need you to do an international B. I don't know. It, it might end up being shorter. Like, there might be less races to do, but they actually will not let us compete in any more of these until we finish the national A license. So um, things are getting a little more challenging, but it's still very early on, so hopefully it won't be too, too bad, and we'll get into it anyway. So either way, guys, it's great to be back. I hope you're ready to rock and roll with some more Gran Turismo 7. If you are, make sure you leave a like on the stream. And say what's up in the chat so I do know that you are here. And we will get started in just a moment. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and say our hellos really quick. Not a whole lot of people in chat just yet, but uh, I'm sure that will change in a moment. Uh, what's up, Staley, Homie, Disney, Patriot, and Romek? Anybody else lurking? What's up? Welcome. Again, guys, quick, leave a, quickly delete. Ugh, oh, my God, I can't even speak. Don't forget to leave a quick like. There you go. Uh, <laughs> it does go a long way and help the channel and uh, get the video popping. As a good way to say it. So, hope you guys are ready to rock and roll. Let's jump right in to our National A licensing. Uh, kicking things off. I believe there's 10 of these. I'm not sitting right. Or did they add more? No, there's still just 10. Okay. Um, so, based on that. Hold on. Let me just go back to my National B uh, really quickly. Uh, what did I... Did I end up getting the Clio RS220 or was that from something else? No. So, that means... <clears throat> in the next game, we're actually going to... Sorry, in National A, for completing it, we're going to get the Mark IV Supra. And who knows what the... Um, what do you call it? Who knows what the gold car is? I'm guessing the gold car is either going to be um, the um, Alpha Male 4C or the M3. One of those two, I think. It's probably this one, though, because it's probably... well. Executive corner is beginner one. That's because there's multiple stages now. So, what is this one called then? Oh, it's basics. Okay. All right. Well, let's hope we can warm up and get into this properly. So, all right. Starting things off with the BRZ. Wait, they made an STI version of the BRZ since when? I don't remember that. Or was it a trim level? No clue. What's up, Harry? Hey, Smitty. All right, A1 is Racing Line Beginner 1, where you'll learn the fundamentals of out-and-out -out racing line. You've heard of the out-and-out -out principle, right? This is the basic rule of cornering. You go outside, cut out, go to the outside line, essentially. Move to the inside of the track and exit on the outside. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty standard. That's where you get the most speed, because stopping that sharp is either going to send you off the track, but that's where you keep your momentum at, at higher speeds. Be sure to use the entire width of the track when doing this. This allows you to corner at the fi fastest possible speed. The aim of this challenge is to show you that you've grasped out and out principle. Are you ready? Let's go. I'm ready for that. All right. The BRZ. Solid handling car. Just not that fast. Let's see if we're ready for this. I'm not ready for that. <laughs> that was rubbish. Although he just gives up and he just like goes full lock. Uh, no, Harry, I'm not. I'm from uh, Alberta. See, it's getting the braking right. Oh, the tail end didn't want me there. That was rough. I got. I mean, I got the bronze. But I know we can do better than that. This is my first event of the, of the stream, so I gotta warm up. You guys know how it is. Let's 
See how much faster it was compared to my first one? I got I didn't get this I didn't get the silver yet. Now these these things can be so tedious, but they're so satisfying when you actually do get them. Seventeen. Oh, we got it just. It felt faster. It did feel faster. Nice. All right. I will take that. It's cool to see like it from a simulation cam like that, you know? Okay, let's go to our next one. Are you quoting SWAT, Harry? I don't think anybody... I don't think I've ever seen anybody quote that movie. I used to watch that movie all the time as a, like when I was younger. When did that movie come out? Like 2003? So yeah, like when I was like 12 years old. Like, man, I watched the shit out of that. I was in like my regular rotation. I'll give $100 million to whoever gets me out of here. $100 million. <laughs> He's supposed to be French, but he doesn't sound like it. Anyway. Now it's time to use the out and out technique from A1 on a consecutive course. So you have to do it multiple times. Oh, they're 90 degrees. grizzles. Okay. So it's, yeah, 90 degree turns. Make sure you slow down sufficiently before entering the first corner. Because that's where you're going to be slow. All of it's going to be in the breaking of the first turn or first corner. Hey, Pies, what's good? Hard break. Turn in. Oh, I'm off track technically. Oh, I didn't. Honestly, I saw the tarmac and I thought, well, we're, we're fine. I gotta say, the Scirocco is such a good looking car, but we never got it in North America, which is such a shame because everyone just, well, people here buy like, buy like trucks and SUVs. Like, look at Ford, they ditched their entire like car lineup. I think they keep in the focus. That was pretty slow. See, the first couple times are very slow. Yeah, those movies, Harry, were like my childhood, basically. So. I'm off track. See, that's considered off track. So, this one's weird because the tarmac kind of extend, extends past it. So. Seventeen, bam! So that was much better. It's just gotta be smooth. All right. What's up, Abinav? How you doing? That was a good one. These are fun, man. And then whenever you achieve them, you know, you just get them down. It's just that much more entertaining. I like that each day it recognizes when it's a new day. I think it's within a span of, you know, twelve a.m. to twelve a.m. kind of thing. 12 a.m. to 11.59 is one day. So now it's reset our... We'll get our bonus. Anyway, let's go with the Abarth. See, cornering, it's easy for me to get this stuff, I think. I don't know. Uh, Autodrome Nazionale Monza. <laughs> Actually, Manny, yes, it can. There is a... Um, when you first start up the game, it gives you a controller request option. You can go with the more modern racing controls with the triggers and, you know, your sticks to stick to steer, things like that. Uh, you can also actually go with this really funky one with throttle being the right stick. And you can go with the classic X square. It is in there. Take two corners at difficult, different speeds. I wonder which game made the first change. Uh, like the first change... Oh, what am I doing? That was rough, so I wasn't really paying attention. Okay, Joao. What are you doing, bro? Ah, oh, God, 
there's no mods in the chat? What the fuck? That was a good corner. How'd I do? Oh, I was on track. Silver. Not bad for a first attempt. It's the first corner. The second quarter was money, but the first... Um, the first corner is where it really needs to happen. I'm off. Shit. I didn't break enough. I tried to get as much time out of it as I can. Are there seriously no mods in here yet? I wonder where everybody is. I wonder if everyone didn't get the notification. You can always tell when something's up on uh, your stream. That's rough. That's got to be restarted. As soon as you pop the chicane. Like, you can hit the chicane, no problem. But as soon as you, like, cross the line, it's going to be bad. Little bit understeer, but it's all manageable. What's up, Jason? Doing good, how are you? How'd I do? Uh, same kind of result. It was very similar, actually. What's up, Judd? That was a good corner. One, twenty-two. That was good. I could tell. That was beautifully done. Uh, probably not, Romek. Uh, I've been. I think I'm gonna do like big streams for this game since there's so much I need to get done in it. You know. What's up, Cindy? So I'll probably do like another six-hour one kind of thing. This is fun, man. I'm digging this. I am digging it. All right. Honestly, Junior, I will say to you right now, you are going to earn so much money in this game. It really doesn't matter. Like, each event gives you so much money. Like, I, I just spend frivolously, and I just do a couple extra races, and I've already got it back. So, really, it doesn't matter. Um, what I've done, though, is I spent my money on a E92 M3, and then it lets you... Is There's there's a lot of races that don't have restrictions that are, like, just as long as it's from this country, and it, and it's, like, you know, it doesn't matter. So... I've been, like, taking the M3 to, like, take on, like, hot hatches and absolutely annihilating it at a 600 and, uh, 607 PP, you know? We over a million. Bro, you have a million? Oh, you're gonna be Gucci. <laughs> A4 is Urban Tracks 1. We will learn to drive without colliding with walls. It's a good thing to get. As you can see, this track it, uh, has walls on both sides, so you'll need to be careful not to hit them. You'll be immediately disqualified if you collide with a wall, so make sure you keep your distance at least at first. At least at first. Um, I honestly, if you like racing sims, you really can't go wrong with this game. It's one of the better racing sims I've played in a long time. Just for content, graphically, I feel like it could be stronger. But... Uh-oh. Actually, I was fine there. I didn't need that. Actually, I could be going so much faster. I wasn't sure what they were trying to get me to do. I'm way too slow. I didn't realize how fast of a track that was. Okay, I, see, I was just going really slow. Uh, they're not my first choice in Paler, but I do like them for their own reason. I mean, I like all sorts of cars for all different things. See, like now, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let go.
Damn, hey. I mean, I got I got the silver, but I'm gonna have to really cruise if I want to get that gold. I do like the Forza games, yes. I haven't played Motorsport in a while, but I love Horizon. See, what I was trying to do was like, oh shit, I don't want to exit. Damn it. I, I definitely wanted to, that's where I really need to, like that first initial braking. The rest, you don't really need to break that hard. Um, actually, you don't need to break at all. So it's just this first, this first corner that you really got to time it properly. I'm under steering, but now I'm back on the power. I'm going a little slower than I was. If, if, if the car, if this car is beating me, I'm not going to make it. Yeah, see, it's not faster. It's close. It, it, I mean, we're, it's... Why would you call me a ricer? <laughs> of course I'm not a ricer. I don't think eBay parts and fake hood scoops and fake ass, big ass wings on stupid, like, on front wheel drive cars make sense. I feel like the fact that you asked me that, I feel like you might be worried that you are a racer. 29 and an eight. Oh, I'm getting faster, but not quite there. No, I'm not engine swapping my M3. The S65, and that is so good. I don't know what the point of swapping an LS in there would be. Someone did ask me that though. One person I brought it like, cause my car is straight piped. So like, I remember I brought the car to a uh, to a meet one time, and they're like, one guy asked me, he's like, is that an LS in there? Oh my god! The minute, the first time I do it really well at the front. Hey, Spiral. See, I think what's happening is the freeway lines are confusing me, and they're, they look like stop lines. It's like, that was good. Oh, I looked away. No. Uh, low, my first thing that I do to a car, suspension and brakes, that's my first thing. I actually, none of my cars have any aftermarket wings on them. Not, not at the moment. The only ones that would is if they're like... It has to be function. I'm all about function over form. Well, not necessarily. I mean, if, if like what you're doing, for example, if you add like a, like a wing to something and it, it's not actually... Damn it, I'm getting faster, but I'm not there yet. But anyway, if you're gonna add a part to the car, it has to make sense. It has to actually do something. That's my point. You know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to say. But that's what I'm all about, I mean. Oh, I bumped the wall just a little bit. Ah, oh, Jesus, this one actually is kind of tough. I uh, haven't had any problems with the game, no. Running smoothly. Visually, I think it should be a little better. But I think that's because they co-developed it with a PlayStation 4 version. If it was just for PS5, it would look so much better. Don't understeer. Jesus Christ, I can't increase this time. I need to find two hundredths of a second. Yes, Frank, I do. It's my gig. Sleepers are awesome, bro, 100%. I love them. Especially if you get a big old wagon. You know what I mean? Those are the best. Oh, 
<laughs> Getting faster. Getting faster. 29.9. We need to shed, shed like 100 milliseconds. It's all in that first corner. That was pretty good. You can manage. Oh, I, I could tell my line was bad. I had to swoop it at the wrong time. I think the break, the first corner was. Why do you have Frank as your name then? Why does it say Frank if you don't want people to call you Frank? Maybe you should change your name to Mr. Mello and then people would call you that. <laughs> oh, the RS6 wagon? Oh man, I, I want one. I want one of those. Uh, yeah, I'm shitting the bed now. I gotta focus. This one requires just the right amount of braking. If I had the money for a Carrera GT, I would definitely buy one. That thing is phenomenally awesome. I'm understeering. I felt it as soon as I went in that corner. You know what happened? I'm trying to push the car really hard here to make that time. Oh, okay. Okay, Frankie boy. <laughs> Franklin, the turtle. What did he say, bud? Someone missed their yoga class this morning. <laughs> See, I'm trying to push it, but it just keeps understeering into the wall. What's up, Haddock? Oh my god, this one's getting on my nerves. Okay, Haddock, I said hi to you already. Stop. Why do people spam? It's so cringe. Jesus. God damn it. This need for attention. It's brutal. See, the cornering is fine. Like, I was nailing this first corner for a while, and now, of course, I'm not. See, that one was better. I caught, I caught it a little sooner. That was good. Let's go. We at 29. Oh, dude. Oh, we're getting faster, but it's just not there. I gotta find a hundredth of a second. <laughs> Frank, you're like the most pathetic dude I've ever seen online, bro. <laughs> How insecure are you? They gotta threaten somebody you never met because I called you Frank instead of your Mr. Or Mellows or whatever the fuck your name is. That's pathetic, bro. Grow a pair. Whiny little baby bitch. My God, we're so close, guys. That was such a good one. Holy hell, 0. 0.5. 0. 0.05, 50. Oh my God. <laughs> That's one big ass robot. <laughs> I'm a little far from the apex. That's going to hit the wall, yeah. What's up, Darren?
Hey Tyler, what's up? I'm going much slower. But we'll see if we can take overtake with this. No, I ain't gonna fly. Not fast enough. Yeah, the VTEC's supposed to kick in exactly at 6,000 RPM. It's not happening. <laughs> this one is quite challenging, though, I have to say. But I'm worried that if I stop it now... Oh, God, it's too bouncy. Oh, Fwanky, did I hurt your feet wings? Oh, no, I hurt Fwanky's feet wings. He came here and started a fight with me, and I'm so scared of him. He's gonna reach through the internet and choke the wife out of me. I better one. I better call the police. I better do it, guys. I'm scared. Where's my mom? I'm gonna get mom on the phone. Get mom on the phone. How is that? Ah, it got slower. Man, this is just, it's just, it's close, but it's hard to shed that time. That's good, that's good. Just stay the course, do this right. That might actually do it. That was a good corner. Oh, I'm going wide, of course. The one time I do it perfect, I fuck up the second turn. Oh my God. No, I'm, I'm not, no, I'm Canadian. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm trying to be so aggressive here. Of course, I, like I said, I did it on that first one, no problem. And now it's being a little bitch. I'm a little far from the apex, oh my god. Yeah, that was no good. Hey, Patriot. Oh yeah, I mean, it's funny, because it, it, we were on the up and up, right? We made it like, like you know, weather's getting nicer again, what have you. But then we had a huge dump of snow yesterday, so now it's back to the drawing board. Oh, fuck. This one is a bitch, man, I cannot get this. Yeah, I'm on A licenses. That's the wall. Jesus, you just try to push it so hard. You're like, you don't want to over break, but you don't want to, you know, under break. Close. That was good. Oh, uh, that's bad. As soon as I, as soon as that happened, as soon as it, it was understeering, I knew I, I turned too soon, or too, sorry, too late, I should say. Oh, I did a little jump. I gotta say, Frank, it's pretty bad that you get that upset that fast. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry you had to, I'm sorry that happened to you, but I really have no beef with you. I just think it's funny that how mad you got for no reason because I called you Frank because that's what it says. Your account name says Frank. <laughs> Don't you dare call me that, young man. It's Mr. Mellow to you, bitch. Like what? <laughs> You're the guy at the parties that nobody wants to talk to. And you wonder why. Just be nice to people. That's more fun than being like a random ass. I find. 
You don't have to take your insecurities out on us, big guy. It just makes you look like the smallest man. Wait, I did it! I wasn't even paying attention, I did it! <laughs> Holy shit, there you go. Dude, I wasn't even looking. I thought I was toast. I didn't think I was gonna make it. That looks slow. That is so funny, bro. <laughs> that that shut you up, Bald. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, I'll show you. <laughs> oh, man. Good shit. All right. This is just the National A's. Wait till we get up to the Super License, bro. That's going to be insane. Anyway, we're done with that Type R for now. Moving on to the 180. All right, we're at Spa. We haven't been at Spa yet. I'm excited for this. All right. Cornering is in the wet beginner. So, okay, this is it's going to be rainy in Belgium. That's how we drink it in Belgium. It's called a Belgian dip. <laughs> Uh, Boost! You joined the membership program, Big Player. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. Welcome to it, bro. Welcome to it. You'll get access to those badges and, of course, the emojis. Needless to say, wet tracks are very slippery, are they? You need to brake early and be careful with your acceleration. So it's just a couple... It's like a, a little S turn. It looks clear. Like, look, it's a beautiful day out. So, all of us, did someone just pour water on it? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I see what they're saying. It's very sharp. It's... <laughs> they're having us go right into it. Fra Frank... Spa Frankerschamps, as they say. What's up, Sierra? How's it going? That is a bitch. That is not... I gotta get a feel for this. I'm not, I'm, I'm not on the line at all, but... I mean, that out corner... That was a good corner, but that's not gonna be a good time. 30... And, oh, actually, I'm pretty close. If I didn't go off like I did, man, we're gonna make that time. I'm, I'm actually really surprised that's the time I got with that mistake. Don't be af don't be afraid to actually break. Like break hard, hard, hard. It's better than to hop the chicane six times, you know. That's not gonna be enough. Oh yes, it will. Whoa, a little slippery. I'm apparently going slower. Full power, full power. I think I'm ahead of myself. It might be fast enough. It was. <laughs> I just want to jam to it. Oh, man. It's so orchestral. But it's good. It's like an orchestral up upbeat. Even though, I don't know, with guitars and whatnot. So that's good. All right. I gotta finish my smoothie. That's fine. I'm Dale. But you gotta call me Dragon. <laughs> we also have another one that says you have to call me Nighthawk. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, moving on to the 4C. One of the widest production cars ever made. For the sheer size of it. You know, one of the widest ones. Uh, anyways. Let's do this. It's another consecutive corner. It's like a it's like a hard straight. Or sorry, it's a straight, and then it's like just like a like a hip check, really. Where you'll learn how to deal with Monza's Variante Ascari corner. Very fast track, Monza. In this challenge, you'll learn how to deal with consecutive corners. Use the entire width of the track uh, and imagine that you're connecting the apex of each corner with a straight line. Yeah, 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 okay. So they want you to pretty much go full out on this one. It's 
myself extreme out. <laughs> I was literally just trying to just go full send. Oh, Chaz, don't don't you worry about that, Big Bear. Don't worry about that. I swear all the time. <laughs> it's all good, man. I am a little wide. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm missing the apex by about 13 years. What's the time I need? 18. Well, I, I just missed the silver. So, a few practice runs will get this. I did hit the bumps. I went over the chicane pretty hard. I am going fast on my previous time, though. Oh, I did it! Like, how white can you be, right? <laughs> Love it. Currently on auto because I, I mean I hate shifting on a controller. It's just lame as shit. But I, I'm trying to get myself hooked up with a proper wheel and pedals sit situation. Be a little more fun there. But they're so damn expensive. Oh now now Frank's getting racist. Look at that. Frank's getting racist on us. Come on, Frank. Frank, I think you need to take a sip of some of that calming tea you know what i mean take a sip of that calming tea open you know just like you know do a nice morning routine just breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in and breathe in you know what i mean just do that for a few minutes goose fraba goose fraba goose fraba woosa whatever you need to do breathe in breathe out i am not the enemy I am not the enemy. I can be your friend. I can be your friend. You don't have to hate me. You don't have to be racist. You know? I mean, we're all friends here, right? We're all friends. We should be. So, just, just, it's fine, buddy. It's so funny, because every time buddy says something to me, it's just so comical to me. It's like not even like an insult. <laughs> I, it's it's just not it's just button pressing Jason. That's the only reason I don't like it You know what I mean All right, anyway executive corners beginner two. it takes place on the circuit of Barcelona Catalonia in my beloved Spain This challenge features consecutive corners just like a six use the throttle pedal to control your car. All right, cool All right, we're in the e46 m3. I'm very excited to be in this car. Wait, why is it, why was it telling me to brake so late? That's really weird. Or so early. Well, because he did stupid shit like that, Daniel. So they want me to kind of drift a little. I'm a little off track, but. That's what they wanted the stabilization, kind of like use the power to drift it out. Oh man, I almost got it. By 0.33 of a second. 0.033. That was very close. I just had to not be an idiot or a noob. What up Shane, how you doing Big Clip? I'm not sure how that went. That's where all that's where all the skill is. That's where you need to control it. Here it's not bad. I don't want to drift too much. If I, oh, we nailed it. Oh my god, not even a problem. That was beautiful. Like way more like how much time we made up just like that? That was an easy challenge for your boy. Beautiful. We've already reached our daily workout. We already cracked it. 
You seen that? Like it was 42. And we're already back. That should be boosted. I think it should go up higher, personally. All right, we are only three more away, ladies and gents. Tundra, the... Okay, so the Toyota Tundra. This should be interesting. This should just be like... Honestly, I don't know what this is going to be like in the Tundra. It's probably going to feel like... I don't know. It's time to get dirty. This challenge involves driving a big Tundra along the challenging dirt track. Trick to driving in dirt is to start... Oh, so yeah, it is a dirt track. First time driving on dirt. That's awesome. You'll need to be proficient with that steering wheel to control the direction of the car. This is sketchy. What the hell? I can't see, it's a blind corner. Oh, it's all good. This Actually, the Tundra is handling well. 18, 19, nailed it. Let's go, first try. Let's go. That was fun. That truck handled phenomenally off-road. Oh, I don't want to start. Wait, wait, hey, 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 hey. You don't get to do that. Why would it put it on start? Leave me to my devices, please. There is open wheel racing, and there's formula. There's formula races as well. There's Le Mans style racing. There's all sorts of stuff. It's got everybody's itch covered. All right, the NSX Type R, let's go. Let's go. A9 is hairpins, don't get too early on the accelerator. This challenge will teach you how to deal with hairpins using the famous corner as Suzuka for, as an example. The bases are more important than ever on hairpin turns. Slow down properly and enter the corner. Hey, Dickie, what's up? Then accelerate smoothly as soon as your car is facing the exit. Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. Don't worry, big player. Look at how look at how close the uh, the the rewards are. Hey, like from like from gold to silver, there's like a 500 millisecond difference. All right, hairpin, let's go. Oh, I'm off road. That's gonna affect it. Fifteen, sixteen, seven. Ah, oh, that's way too slow. That's a bronze. You know what it was? I think I lost a ton of speed off that first because uh, I hit the dirt. That, honestly, that'll do it. See, I don't want to go too long. I'm sh I, I went wide. That was a bad one. I mean, let's just retry. That's not going to do it. We already know that. Yeah, ain't that a bitch, YG? You have the disc in hand, you still gotta install the game. Oh, I'm still far from the apex. That's way too far. I don't think that's gonna work. 16. Yeah, I see 17 1. Oh, I don't wanna exit. Why do they put the exit right there? No, don't credit that. We're redoing it. Don't do that. That's rough. Hey, Magbo, what's up? That was actually even slower somehow. I don't know what I was doing. Oh, let it go viral. Let's not talk about Frank anymore. We, it, we had our fun. I really don't be, have any beef with him. At all. I'm just having a bit of fun. That's trash. I'm breaking too much. I'm going to break later. I'm going to break a little later. That was ass in a basket. That was so bad. Oh my god. Let's just pretend this didn't happen, guys. Pretend it didn't happen. <clears throat> I'm so far from the apex. It's just going to be a bad time. Or it's going to be similar. I'm not going to get that silver, though. No, I'm just shy from the silver. Jesus Christ, it is Jason Brown. What up, bro? <laughs> Damn. 
damn, I can't get any faster. I'm like actually, I'm like hovering around the point five of that. It's cause I'm not. That's rubbish. I'm drifting. Yeah, that's not good. Man, I can't hit this right. I'm eating the shits. Because we want immersion. Uh, you're not supposed to, though. I feel like if you... Oh, Jesus, I hit the edge. Hit the rumbles. If you turn while you're braking, though, it actually is going to cause you to understeer more. In my, in my experience, I've discovered that. Man, that, me cutting like that is really messing shit up. See, like, I'm not meaning to cut. It's just totally ruining my line. I mean, we're going for golds here. We don't have to do this, but I kind of want to, you know? That was much better. I did get the silver. We could find a bit extra time. We could find a bit more time. We're close. We're getting there. Just gotta go a little bit cleaner. My angle, my line was not perfect. I was a little off the line there, but it was, it was getting better. See, like that's bad. I stopped way too soon. That's too early. See how it's too early My I'm not lined up? When I'm exiting the corner, I'm like complete. I have to maintain the speed around the corner just to get around it. So I'm braking too early. And brake. Turn in. I'm way too far from the apex. Not even close to it. It's in like another state. Hey, Medi, how you doing? Turn in, throttle, no, that's bad. This isn't gonna work. Yeah, it's too far. Probably just one Shabazz, just because it'll be a longer stream. I'm, I'm aiming for like a six hour one like yesterday. This debut game, I might as well you know, do a ton of gameplay for Gran Turismo. I'm having fun with it. We will get it, I promise you. I'm just trying to, it's all about where you break, where and how. See, I'm, I'm turning in too soon. See, I'm turning in too soon, so I have to feather it. I have to break hard, turn sharp left, and then power out. too far from the apex. I'm way too fucking far. What's up, Heldon? No, see, as soon as my old car overtakes me, that's how I know I'm not doing it right. See, I was on a similar line, but I was still being beat by my own car. This was a little trickier because I just, I, I, my own skill level is being weighted out, you know? That's so bad. I don't even want to see that. And then I'm constantly worrying about my ghost car because I have to beat that time. Whatever the ghost car is, that's what I got to beat.
I'm so far. See, I'm so far from the fucking apex. Jesus Christ. Here we go. I'm so far from the... See how I'm, like, shooting out? But then again, I'm ahead of my... Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I thought I was ahead of my, go or my ghost, but I wasn't. I was like, where's my ghost? I'm just hitting it so wrong. I'm, my racing line, I'm cutting too soon. And then I, I cut too late, and it's trying to find that sweet spot. It's a learning process. Oh, I went off, but I think I'm a little bit... Oh, man, it looked good until I hit, hit the chicane. Uh, next week, Shabazz. I'll be back next week to it. I am drifting. That is never a good sign. E-brake! <laughs> I just gave up on life there. There is not an example run, no. They just kind of tell you how to do it. That's Gran Turismo, though. You're supposed to kind of figure it out. Let's go! Just before it. It looked good. I didn't see my I didn't see my avatar anywhere, so. There you go. It took us long enough, but we got it. <laughs> let's see it. Let's see the let's see the line we did. This is sick. I love this. A beautiful type of racing. Coming in, turning in. Let's see my line. Okay. I feel like the line could have been cleaner, but we got the gold out of it. Could have been better, but we got it. All right, so there's only one more now in this uh, National A licensing. One more to go, and then we're going to get our new cars. So we're definitely going to unlock the Supra as our bronze. Okay, we're going to get... We're going to get... If we beat the bronze, we're going to get the Supra. The gold car is going to be one of the cars we've already raced in. We just don't know which one it's going to be. I mean, naturally, I want to go for all golds. It's just so satisfying. And then after we're done the licensing, guys, we'll be getting into some more uh, testing. Or sorry, not testing. More regular races. We'll go for some more venues. Graduation test, you connect to everything. So you have to do everything that you've learned today. So there's going to be a few different corners, a hairpin, stuff like that. And we're in the Supra. Is that a Supra? <laughs> Let's go. I'm, I'm restarting. I didn't want to hit the grass. How many people are going to do a mod supers in this game? Like, everybody. To be fair, I would like my own. Like, that would be pretty badass. The price of them are going up, too. What's funny, stock, the, the Mark IV Supra wasn't really that fast. But it was it was a tuner king. Like, you can get easy 1,000 horses out of it. Oh, my line is this is this is the practice run, but the first one is always practice just to see what we're dealing with. 29, 30. Alright, so we managed to get a bronze. So we technically did do it, but that was trash. You just gotta have nice clean turns. It's all in breaking. If you have a good line. Oh, I went over. That's a restart. Hit the 2J. Understeering. Horrible. So you have to get a feel for each car. That's the thing. You switch from car to car to car, so you have to get a feel for each one.
Oh, I'm a little drifty. That's not good. Again, that's still a bronze. Because 29 is 29.8. It's all about precision, my dudes. Precision. Clean driving. I know where I'm losing my time. I already know where I'm losing my time. Right there. Every time. I always lose it there. It doesn't look like I can hug the apex of that, that corner very well. It just feels like, I don't know, I'm supposed to break into it, but then you get, you do that, and you're like, no, I'm way off the line. See, I'm off the line right now, for sure. But I'm still ahead of my best time, so let's finish it and see where we sit. 29. We were actually very close to the gold. Very close. Surprise. And that felt like my one of my worst ones. Not my worst, but it felt like one of the worst. beat me. At least you know. 29-1. I, like, I just gotta find 100 milliseconds. That's too bad, hey? Close, but not there. How did I find that time in that one? I don't understand. I must have just been slapping cheeks. See, I keep missing the apex there and it's throwing me off. Ah, it's way too wide. Oh my god. This one I'm trying to figure out how to change the cor chain the corners together. I should try a different tactic. See how I'm missing about like a mile? Oh, he's still beating me. <laughs> I'm still beating me. Hey, Chip. We will get this, guys. We're getting close. I've noticed I've gotten them when I like was least concentrating. See, I'm trying to get back on power, but now I'm missing that apex completely. But I'm ahead of my other driver, so it's like... Yeah, it's gone. See, I'm, I'm getting more power out of the line there. Hold on. Yeah, I braked way too late. I'm already turning in. You look at the rear view. Rear view, my ghost car is just turning in already. I'm just still going. He's already going faster. 
I just don't understand how I'm going slower when I'm following the line that they're recommending. It's odd. There's one particular spot that's been throwing me off each time. That was horrible. It's already faster. Jesus. Because we're a community dummy. We're a community. We have fun. We chat. It's all about fun and games here, you know. We don't take ourselves too seriously, but we still show respect to the stuff, you know. We play all sorts of games on the channel, not just one style. So you're always going to get something on this channel that you, you know, instead of just one focus, you know what I'm saying? I'm still going slower. The line they want me to take is throwing me off. It just doesn't look right. See, I'm getting more speed there. I probably would eventually catch me. Hey, Simon. I mean, I let subs, like, suggest games to me, sure. But I can't play every game that gets uh, suggested, right? I generally try to play the newest games, but I'll always play, I'll play old ones, you know, during slower months or games I've never played yet. See, I'm missing that apex every time and my, I'm, my old ghost hits it and I don't understand because I feel like I missed it on that run and I'm already off the track. Forza Horizon isn't a comparable game because it's a sim game. This is a sim game, proper simulation, it's not a sim game, so. It's not in the same kind of, it shouldn't be in the same conversation. I'm already sliding. That's already too slow. Now I'm getting in my own head. I kind of want to watch my ghost just to see what I did. See, he's already ahead, you know, that's what I don't understand. I'm already long gone. That's insane. Can I, like, go back and watch my replay? Like, in the car? I just want to see it. I, I wish I could go inside it. I'm still missing the apex there. Like, look how far away from the apex I am. That one, I'm pretty decent. pretty far from that one too I miss the apex there too I even kind of go off but yet I still have a okay unless that was the one I just did I don't know uh, it's a, this is only available on uh, on PlayStation to ps4 and ps5 and I don't know if it's fully released yet I've had an early copy of the game Look how much further away. It's insane. Like, I've barely been able to keep up my, my old time. Uh, I've, because I've been on YouTube for over 10 years. I've been on 10, you know, so that I've, I've built a following here and I don't have a following on Twitch. I've tried Twitch a couple of times. So good up until that moment. It was so good up until that moment.
That's it. There you go. That was so much better. I knew we'd get it. Give me that gold. I want to watch that replay again. Let's just see what I improved upon. Is it even going to show the full... I don't even know if it's... Oh, there it is. See, look how much closer... Look at it. I'm actually at the apex now. That's the difference. On that first corner, I'm at the apex. I miss it there, but... Um, but it sets me up for a better corner afterwards. Hard break, turn in, and I'm a lot closer to it for the hairpin. And then I have enough power to feather it through. I don't go off like I did in the other one. So I'm faster. I'll take it. Beautiful. Give me them golds. Let's move on now. Give me that national A. What cars are you giving me? Okay, they're giving me the Shroko R. That's so wait, was the Shroko R the gold one? That is what I got for golds? A new gift card has been sent to your garage. No way, it can't be the Shroko R. It's well, that's one car. Where's the other one? What is it? That's for beating it. It's the BRZ. I'm actually shocked that they gave me the BRZ. As um for getting golds that's i thought it'd be something else i thought we'd get the super out of that one we didn't get it at all okay congratulations on acquiring your national a my name is igor fraga and i'm a gran turismo driver from i've already met you bro responsible for helping you acquire your international b so i'll be when we move on to international b's um so i'm gonna ignore him for now this is what's next we're not gonna do these yet you guys we're actually... There's a lot more powerful cars in here. Look at this. Ooh, there's some clean mother cluckers up in this bitch. Look at this. R34 GTR Evo 5 E30 M3 Evolution. The Taycan. Porsche Taycan Turbo S. The 3 liter CSL. This thing... The Batmobile. So sick. Anyway. And there's an R32. Godzilla in the house. All right. Well, I, I, the way I've done it in the past, guys, is once we've got our licensing for a certain group we do all the races in that and then it'll be like you need these licenses from here on out so that's my plan so i'm gonna do my one star this is probably my workout yeah i reached the daily workout so it's just like a daily thing for i've yet to unlock a car from this i've only ever gotten credits i've never unlocked cars or car parts from this it's always just money and they gave me the lowest amount that's such... that's gonna be like three thousand creds or 2500 or something two thousand is what it is all right let's back out um actually i'm gonna go through my car collection just kind of clear some of the cars i've unlocked that i haven't selected yet the ds3 uh 208 gti what else the shiraco r we just got which is such a clean looking car it's basically a golf though but a little bit different and we never north america never got the polos either to be fair small small hatchbacks aren't really in, you know popular in, in uh, North America just because most people here like bigger vehicles like trucks SUVs but what I'm into I'm a wagon fan I love wagons but we don't get that many wagons here I think the only fast wagon we get in this country is the or at least in Canada is the RS6 Audi RS6 event and I would greatly want one of those in the future if my broke ass could ever afford one <laughs> but i've got my e92 m3 and i'm super stoked with it yes i got national b gold as well in, in last stream so we have all the golds as of now but yeah the, sorry i was just mentioning it. this is actually the car i own i tried to build it as close to my build as possible it's pretty close all things considered but it's pretty similar i mean the interior is not even the interior is bone stock in this car but the fact that it's a manual is really sick too because so is mine uh, anyway, let's go to our world circuits now because now we can unlock the race that we needed Those are so rare Patriot like those those CTSV wagons so rare. I they, I they don't there's like barely any of them around Oh, they require a US car. All right. Well They recommend a PP of 600. I do have my Mustang. That's a six. Uh, sorry. It's a 609 But here's the thing. I'm wondering if we should take the Camaro ZL1 and tune it I just unlocked this last time I did, like, the American ch uh, challenges. So, I'm actually going to improve its supercharger, I think. 
Uh, let's go to the tuning shop and make it a I want it to be a little over OP just for when we uh, tackle it. It's going to be heavier than the moon. As you can see, it's 3,800 pounds. So I'm going to go with weight reduction. Drop that weight. We got a lot of money to spend. So I'm going to spend a good chunk of money on the ZL1. I know a lot of you Americans are probably like, what the fuck is he talking about? It's Z. <laughs> In Canada, we say Z. And same with, same with UK. We take a lot of our inspirations from the UK. Uh, let's, hold on, let's go weight reduction again. Let's drop the weight. It's still over 3,000 pounds. That's, that's still heavy as shit. But the thing is, all that power, and if you have too much weight reduction, that thing's gonna slide all over. So, uh, I might go with a, if it'll let me, I'm gonna go with a fully customizable limited slip diff. That way, I mean, you think it would, it probably already has one, to be honest, but whatever. What'll this drop the weight to? Down to, you know, I'm gonna go down to 3,000 pounds. That is almost, that is what, like 800 pounds in weight reduction? That's insane. That is insane. Okay, uh, let's go and see. So current power, look at the torque of that. 650, 640. Can you imagine? There's, a, I think we should be able to get another supercharger on top of it. How come they don't exist? I don't understand. Like there's a, um, if you go to tune this car on your own, there is like a supercharger that's higher than the high end torque. Do we want high end torque though? Maybe we want low end torque. I don't think we well. 20 it's 20k. They're both the same price. 752 in the pa let's see, hold on. Putting a turbo on it doesn't make sense to me. It's American, it's got to be it's got to be a supercharger. They do about the same power, but it just depends where you want the torque. Do you want it early? Do you want it later? I think in a car with this powerful, I think you want something in the high end. But I also don't want to be spinning too much. I don't want to spin that much. Because, I mean, in that Mustang, we overtuned it, I think, a little too much. And she was spinning in, like, fourth gear. So, it was a little sketch, in my opinion. But we're gonna, I'm gonna, I am going to give it the carbon, carbon ceramics for this, for sure. Because we need to be able to stop that bad boy. I have enough for nitro. Oh, no, I don't have enough for nitrous. I thought I did for a second. I, just, I did, but I spent all the money. <laughs> Oops, I went back. I'm not done here. Hey, Grant. Yeah, it's pretty awesome so far. What up, Brian? Let's see. Uh, anything else? You can't you can't stroke it up. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Racing air filter. It's a cheap upgrade. It'll do the trick. This thing is pulling almost 800 horse, 730 torque. The racing pads. That'll help us. I might get... Well, do I want new clutch flywheel? Honestly, it's... We got the money. Why not? We're just going to make this ZL1 our bitch. I'm sorry. We're just going to do it. Weight reduction stage four. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Dude, it's 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 as light as it can get. It's sub 3,000 pounds. That is a light American muscle car. It is, for real. Um, I don't want to... I don't need to spend all my money on this right now, but still, it's fun. It's fun. Easy power. Cheap, easy power right there. 660. I think I should leave it there because it's 669. You know what I mean? Good God. Racing tranny. 20K. I don't want... Honestly, we're, I don't want to spend... Well... Look at the tires, though. The tires are so expensive. Let's go with racing mediums. Those are basically slicks. Those are slick tires. We just spent all our money on that. Okay, now we had over 100... We had like 150 grand. Now we're at 25. 24 and a half thousand. Like I said, though, I, someone was asking me, like, what should I spend my money on? Dude, I'm going to get that back so quickly, so. And I think you had over a million to play with, so. It's really fun, Luke. Honestly, a lot of racing sims tend to get a little boring after time. But I've discovered that um, this game makes it a little bit different. Like, it takes it and makes it a little more special. You know what I mean? Stream Simon will not be ending for like another five hours, so you got a lot of time on your belt, bro. All right, so this is in order to fa in order to when we win this, we'll unlock uh, a new Japanese circuit. Hey Sam, how you doing? Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget if you are enjoying the stream. Oh shit, I just realized something. Sorry, I forgot. I forgot to actually. I forgot to actually tune the car. I'm sorry. I bought an LSD and it's it's stock. Everything's all stock right now. I got to modify it a little bit. Sorry, guys. But anyway, make sure you leave a like on the stream. It does help out a lot. And obviously, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Just so you don't miss anything I put out. Turn on post notifications. We'll be playing a lot of Gran Turismo. I uh, got still some Horizon Forbidden West to play. Got lots of stuff on this channel. So hit that sub button. Love to have you guys back. Racing. Medium. Wait, I thought... Oh, no, right. I spent it on medium. Suspension. 
I didn't buy suspension. Oops, that was something I wanted to buy. I'm sorry. We got to lower that car. Look at the wheel gap. You could fit a whole newborn baby in there. We got to change this. I hope I have enough money for it. I don't know if I'm going to do fully adjustable or just height adjustable. 20 grand. I don't want to spend 20 grand. We'll just do height adjustable. I don't need to change the damping. Not right now. The camber. I don't really need it. I just want to lower it a bit just to give that center of gravity down low. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, probably grand. I'm going to do the same kind of thing that I did yesterday. One big uh, Grand Turismo stream. All right. So... The front, let's drop that to an 80, as low as she can go. Uh, okay, I'm going to go to the acceleration sensitivity. I'm going to drop to a 35. That seemed to work pretty good. The diff, because the diff makes that. I can't remember. Did I get a new diff? Oh, I thought I got a new con new computer. Apparently not. Oh, but, uh, mm -mm. Um, Supercharger. Obviously, we got the racing. High-end torque. So this one only does have, see, there was one extra torque, some, or sorry, there was one extra supercharger for another, for that Mustang build, and I couldn't find it. I was like, where the hell is that one? It was like, it was like high-end torque S supercharger. Um, propel, okay. Car for lightweight, it's lighter, stronger. It does set it up to the best possible based on that. Whatever you prefer. Yeah, we don't need we don't need it. We, why, you wouldn't need a hydraulic handbrake unless you're in, unless you're drifting. All right, I've dropped the car. What's it? It's probably not going to change anything, honestly. I just fiddled with some settings, but I did. It's going to make a difference. The car's now lowered. This thing is going to hopefully grip like a mother. It's so light. I'm a little scared. It's too powerful and too light now. I'm a little scared. I'm not going to lie to you. It is rear wheel drive, so that's a lot of work. But I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be fun for sure. I am not Aaron. I actually don't own a racing wheel. I'm playing with a controller. Specifically a Jinx custom controller. Custom just for me. You can get this Danku 8000 build right now with the link in the description. Available on PS5, PS4, and Xbox. And no, you don't have to have Danku 8000 there. You can change it for your own name if you want. Check that puppy out. So, I do want to get a wheel, but I want to get one that works for both PlayStation and PC. Sorry, Ravager. I, you gotta tune things. You can't go in balls deep every time. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be insane. Oh, I just smashed the Mach 1. Mach 1, Mach 2 times. <laughs> Holy hell. Whoa, this thing's a little slick, but it, it grips though at the same time. Sorry. Oh, I, I, I went a little smashy. A couple of Teslas up here. Oh, I'm missing the apex on that. Oh, no, I'm fine. Don't be afraid to give it a boot full to help you get around the corner a little more efficiently. This thing does want to bite, though. You can feel it. Oh my god! Ah! 300! Oh god, I should be braking! Those carbon ceramics putting in work. Holy shit, those are good brakes. That, vi that viper's up front. Oh man, I squiggled under braking there. Caused a little bit of a cheese moment. Don't corner cut. I love hearing that supercharger whine. It's got such good brakes. You can brake so late. As I botched that hairpin like a mother. Oh my god. If I didn't get that limited slip diff, guys, we would have been in a little bit more trouble. But you can see, it's just it's spinning a little bit. Look how, look how late I can break in it.
Yeah, there are drift events. I just haven't encountered one yet. I am missing the apex by about a mile, but it's okay. It kind of worked out for us. Oh, I missed the apex there by a mile. Alright, let's get it. There's no cars in the way. Let's just give it a boot full. The carbon ceramics can handle it. Well, Daisuke, because I'm smoking them because uh, I overtuned the car. They give you a recommendation. Usually, you're bound by certain restrictions. In this case, it has to be American, and it has to be... That's about it. And they give you a recommended power level or a PP level. And the recommended PP level on this was 600, and I'm like 780. So, I overtuned it. It doesn't seem fair, but it's a video game. I had a guy complain to me. Like, you guys remember yesterday? When I was like, like doing those dastardly last-minute turns, and I would smash into a mother clucker like no problem. You remember that? Yeah, homeboy was like, "Wow, just jabbing into everybody." Where you learn race etiquette, and it's like it has nothing to do with learning race etiquette. It literally has everything to do with it's a video game, and I want to win and fuck the AI. That's all. <laughs> that's all I care about. It's not real. It's not like can you imagine if I actually went on a track and started spearing everybody just to overtake them at the last minute? Like, people gotta differentiate. It's a, it's a game, yeah. It's hilarious that people take it so seriously. Learn race etiquette. Oh, I'm gonna go apologize to the AI algorithm. I'll make sure I go do that. I'm so sorry, Mr. Bot. It's okay. It's racing. <laughs> Like, he's just gone. Now we're doing the track in reverse. I'm not on a very good line. Ow! You hit him! You learn etiquette! Learn the etiquette! No one's gonna let you on a track with that attitude. <laughs> Fuck you. That's what I have to say. You know what? Just for fun, I'm gonna hit this Chevelle. Or Camaro, whatever the fuck it is. I didn't get a good look at it. Camaro, there you go. Hit that Camaro. Just to make a point, just to make a point, I am going to fuck people up. There you go. That's what I have to say about your etiquette. How about this one? Ew. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful classic challenger. Oh, it was going to ruin me. I was going to smash him, but... Whoa, hello. This is the guy that's four seconds ahead of me. I should probably get serious here. No, you know what? Just to make another point, I'm absolutely going to demolish that ace, that Viper. I almost called it an ACR, but... Oh, this is my original coach. Hey, coach, how's it going? Man, I haven't seen you in so long. Fuck you, coach. This ain't no, this ain't no Disney Cruise. It's the big leagues.
Let's go. Um, that's not good racers etiquette, damn. You're gonna get court-martialed for sure. That's karma. That's karma. I understand that's karma. I understand that's karma. <laughs> oh man, I just find it so fun. It's fun, why can't we just have fun? Let's go. Oh really, Loop? What, what, what tipped it off? <laughs> I've literally been making fun of the people who've been saying that I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> it's a joke, it's about I am not, I'm purposely not doing it right just because people take shit too seriously. It's so funny. Wait, wait, what did I miss? Whose birthday is it? Oh, wait, it's Gareth's birthday? Oh shit, happy birthday, man. Alright, alright, we'll get serious now, we'll get serious. I missed that. No, you should be able to use your wheel right off the bat. Um, I'm not, I'm not sure if all wheels are compatible, though. I know there's like a, a controller... There's like a controller section where you can adjust and they have different settings adapters for various racing wheels. I don't think there'll be... Oops, 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 I misread that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Man. This is getting aggro. There it is. Good stuff. Yeah, I'm from Canada. That's why I'm in KPH. Most of the world uses kilometers an hour. There's very few countries that actually use miles an hour. I mean, you've got the United States, UK, they use miles an hour, but then they'll use Celsius, so I don't understand. That's it, basically. Anything that the US has its finger in and the UK for some reason. All right, I forgot this was the actual challenge. I kind of want the 300. All right, well, I got the 180. Hey, Justin. Give me that collector level 10. You know I'm going to cop it. There you go. I don't know. I don't think it... Well, there's nothing to free roam. Where are you going to free roam? You're going on tracks, right? It's not an open world game. This It's a racing sim. It's like... I mean, yeah, there's tracks and whatnot, but I. it's not a free roam open world game. It's... It's about, you know, racetracks. Anyway. Now we finished that challenge. Now we're going to go back to the cafe. Let him know. All right, you won the Trial Mountain Cup. Well done. That's an excellent result. And I shove people out the way. I received a message from an American who watched the race. He wants you to pay a visit to his new shop. It's called Legend Cars, and I hear, I hear he's keeping it open for you. Why don't you head over there once you've picked up your rewards? Sarah should be able to give you more details. All right, so I've unlocked the Fuji International Speedway and an Auto Autopolis. Autopolis, a legend car. So now these are probably... Maybe there'll be more cars than the legend cars. I don't know. We'll see. Because there were some that weren't adding up when you bought them new. You know what I mean? So, anyway, Nissan Sports Cars. We've already collected one, so we only have to get two more now. Oh, just kidding. Different ones. So wait, which one do I have? Wait, why did it give me that then? That's interesting. All right, well, anyway, I got to get the Sylvia Spec R, so the S15 Sylvia, R32 GTR, and the Fair Lady Z, Z33. So 350, basically. The game is always online. This is only online. Time I like you to collect sport or sports cars produced by the Japanese manufacturer Nissan. Nissan's GTR Z Z, excuse me, and Sylvia sports cars are popular and much loved all over the world. Collect all three and bring them back here. I'll be waiting. It's so nice. It's it's a nice atmosphere in it. All right, where's the legend section? 
So now we can buy the classics. Let's go take a look at them. I can't wait to meet him. Ray Finkel's house. Alright, welcome to Legend Cars. This is a special dealership known only to a handful of collectors and accessible to even fewer. Legend Cars offers a limited number of highly sought after collectible cars from the 20th century. Ooh, I'm excited. Along with a few iconic cars that have made their name on the racetracks around the world. I can't wait to see what they have to offer us today. I'm excited for this. I'm excited for this. What do you think they've got? Ooh, a DB5 right off the bat. All right, McKeel. Welcome to the Haggerty Collection. Um, it's McKeel Haggerty, and I'll be your advisor and guide to the collection. Here's the lineup of the cars currently available. So does it change? Go ahead and wander around and kick the tires, and then it'll be your turn to take the wheel. Oh my goodness. Look at these classics. This is what he. This is just what he has right now. Okay. The Porsche 356 Carrera. This is one of the original Porsches. Very low mileage. E-Type Jag always holds its value. Super GT500. Bro, I, I don't have the money for these. And then you get the Ferrari F50. I actually didn't like the F50 that much. It wasn't even that good. The F40 kicked the nuts off it. But its value is going up. I think that's what that means. And then you got the Alpha 155. Oh, I love how everything's at number 8. Have you noticed on the Lagos that is? It's just my number. That's all that's available. So the heck, I wonder if it'll disappear over time. I mean, obviously, I can't afford any of these cars. The closest one I'm to is the E-Type Jag. E-Type Jag Coupe, I should say specifically. Sorry, I just realized it's the Coupe. Well, my bad. That's fun, though. So if you want the classics, you go there. Uh, you want new cars, you go there. And then there's used cars there. Okay. I still haven't gone to missions. Oh, there's new missions, right? I have done missions. Never mind. All right, let's go back to the World Circuits. Let's see what's next for us. We might have to pick a new whip. I'm not sure how they want us to do it. A topless gift car. You'll get the three. Well, it's a fair lady, but I need a Japanese car. So what do I currently have? Do I have anything that's tuned? What's Wait, what's the recommendation? 550 power level. Is there any JDM cars that I have that are that level? Not a thing. Not a thing. I'm close with the GTO, but I've already driven the GTO. I kind of want to change it up. I mean, that's our current objective, so we have to go do it. So I, I, we're going up against similar cars to what I've got anyway. So GTO Twin Turbo. I, the thing is, I just don't want to spend too much money on these cars. You know, I, I, I mean, again, the close, I've already, like I said, I've already drip. I mean, I have tuned the Euro, Unos already, but it's not going to be fast enough. It's not, it's not going to hang. It's not going to be able to hang. I mean, I could just to switch it up, go with the BRZ. Less power, but it's going to be lighter. It's a 1,000 pounds lighter. So that extra, like, 85-ish power horsepower it has on it is going to mean nothing. So I'm actually going to take the BRZ STI. And I am actually going to go and tune the bitch a little bit. They recommend... What was it again? What did they recommend it? Sorry, it was 5? Five? 5.50? Just let me confirm that. Yeah, they recommend a 5.50. So I got to get that up. Getting new tires is going to improve that dramatically. So, anyway. What up, Alex? Thank you for following. Appreciate you. Welcome to the channel, bro. Tune this bitch up. Tune it up. All right, so this car already doesn't weigh much, so weight reduction isn't super necessary right off the bat. But it's got such a small... This, the thing I've always hated about the BRZ is it's so underpowered. I've said this a million times. It needs a turbo. It needs a turbo. Can you imagine if they just threw a turbo on it? Like, uh It's had the same engine for years and it just doesn't really improve it people still buy it though but i'm gonna give it do i want a high rpm turbo keep it in the high reps or don't want low, maybe mediums because this car is probably going to live in the meads pretty pretty frequently so i wonder if i want the medium well what does it bring it 250 horse 251 so this gives you a bit more power out of it screw it i'll do that i mean 250 horse that's a gr that's a good number for its class I've always found that 200 is just not enough. All right, ECU tuning, easy way to b bump it up. I don't have that much money. I mean, I guess I kind of do. New intercooler. Well, let's go with the race intercooler. Race intercooler all the way. Race exhaust. Um, I definitely want new suspension, though. I don't know if it needs to be fully customizable. I think I just want uh, height because that wheel gap has got to go. Wheel gap's got to go. LSD. It probably doesn't need this, honestly, because I I don't know. You know, I guess it, it, it couldn't hurt. 
That actually does quite a lot, so I'll give it that. That will suit the car, I think. Anti-lag. Why can't I give it an anti-lag? I wonder which cars give you anti-lag. I know the Supra, you can do an anti-lag system. Air filters, easy power. That's 5x horsepower just from changing that. New headers. Go with those. This car's already a... Well, they reckon, well, they want 550. I still, have a wor I still have work to do, guys. I'm going to have to go to... I got to get tires. I got to spend money on tires. Uh, what about racing? Racing slicks on this, though? I don't know. What will this do? They recommend a 550. That will bring it up. Look at that. But what, what happens? Shit, I went too far back. Uh, it's the the ZL1 is getting tagged. I have to use a, J a Japanese car for this next event. That'll bring me to a 543. I might as well do, honestly, soft sports. And maybe some weight reduction. That might uh, push me over the edge. It does. That brings me to a 550. I still have money. I might do a couple of weight reductions, honestly. A couple of levels of weight reduction. The car is already light as sin. Like, don't get me wrong. I just light. Hmm. Bring it up. You know, that might be good. Bring it up to a 300 horsepower. That's an even better number. Board up. How much is increasing that? Um... It's pretty expensive. Yeah, fuck it. High compression pistons. Do I want a new crank? No, enough of the money. No, it's not worth it. I think that's probably good enough. I'm. What am I sitting at for power? Five sixty nine PP overall. Uh, should I spend some money on weight reduction again? It doesn't do that much. I don't want to overdo it. So I don't want I, this time I want to be kind of close to the number. So I won't overdo it. Let's give it. Honestly, Darren, I haven't seen Batman in like 13 years. Okay, no, that's, an, that's obviously an exaggeration, but I haven't seen the last Batman I saw was um our uh, sorry, Batman, the one with Bane. I forget what it's called. forget what it was called oh i did it again sorry guys i got i'm sorry i know everyone wants me to get into did i not buy brakes oh shit i must have missed brakes sorry thank you for the reminder there gary i will go cop the brakes really quick i don't need i don't need i mean i'll get a big brake kit slotted i'll go slotted better brakes cool all right what i meant to do is lower it i meant to go tune it i hate that you have to go to six different locations though to mess with your car rises yes that's it I just couldn't remember it. That was the last one I saw. Yeah, look at that wheel gap, man. You could fit a whole family of six in there, so we got to drop that like it's hot. Okay, sports soft. I think, okay, yeah, lower that. Drop it. The diff, I might leave, honestly. I bought the diff, but I didn't really need it. Full control. That's a good chunk of power, honestly. High RPM. So where most of the power comes in is at the high revs, naturally. It depends what you're doing at all times. You know what I mean? Like, where are you? Are you on high speed straight? Honestly, that's why I was thinking the medium might be better. I changed my mind afterwards. Um, I, I got normal brake pads. I'm going to go buy racing brakes. Brake pads. I don't really... Ha I mean, if I had to choose a DC favorite, it'd probably be Batman. But I don't really follow it that much, if I'm honest. Or the Marvel side. I just, I don't know. It's just not my thing. I feel like you've already asked me that, too. The pads, right? Where are my pads at? There you go. Racing brake pads. I don't think we want extreme. We'll go with the racing pads. They're only a 1,000 creds. See what I mean? Each car just gets the full treatment. All right. We're ready to rock. That should hopefully help us. All right, we're sitting at a 578 now, so that should give us a nice boost. All right, this is to unlock the Fair Lady Z, aka the 350. Look, it's Gallo. 
It's a better motor for my Skyline. Gallo 12 or Gallo 24? Um, 24. I didn't know Pete's place's main motors. All right, so nighttime racing. Good brakes, man. They're not they're they're not carbon ceramic, but you don't need carbon ceramics. Not on a car like this. Oh, sorry, fair lady. So that 34 fair lady is way nicer in my opinion than the fair lady S. Man, that cage in that GTR looks so sick. Oh, I love it. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. Oh my god, guys, I was not paying attention. Why did I break so late? That surprisingly didn't affect me as much as I thought it would. Wouldn't it be funny <laughs> if Gallo's dr driving an R34? Gallo 12, go Gallo 24. Actually, a, a Gallo 34 is what I'm repping. Better motor for my Skyline. <laughs> a 24 for the 34. Yo, smell this. What do you think? It smells like pepperoni or ass cracked. I got five bucks on pepperoni. What do you guys think of the new 86 slash BRZ? Do you like it? I like the back. The front looks a little odd to me, but I, I think it could look, look pretty solid with some mods. The R33 GTR V. The, the V specs are so rare right now, and they're so expensive to buy. Dude, how are they in that? How are they so far? laps though so let's see if I have the chance to catch up the handle you remember the Supra we took on this section of the track all that practice no Rogers it's not it depends on the your car, your vehicle's like power and like power level. Like I was blitzing the competition because I overpowered my uh, my ZL1. I am catching these guys. I still have another lap. RX-7, another BRZ up there. I can't see what's in front of the 300. ZX. Oh, no, it's a Supra. A90 Supra. Sorry, I didn't see that. Couldn't tell from here. Always lined up for a podium finish, but I have to pass the NSX. I don't even know what cars I was looking at. How did I think that was a 300? From there, it looked like it was. I was going to say. Last lap, I got to take these guys. Considering these are bona fide, well, the A90 is not considered a supercar, but. You, 
can get some stupid power out of it, honestly. That B58 BMW engine. It's a Z car. It's a Z4. <laughs> we won't get into that. I think it, I think it got dragged to the mud quite a lot. But the B58 is a fantastic engine. It's so tunable. So I don't know why people were complaining. It's all about the purists, though. The purists are like, it's not JDM. thing that I got those brakes, so big shout out to Homeboy for reminding me. Oh, I'm going wide, I'm going wide, yikes. I'm off the apex by like a long shot. Stretch, baby. That was nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I love it. See, it always sounds like F Zero music. It's awesome. All right, we got one of three. Now we got to go for... Well, I'm looking forward to the... For Godzilla. Gojira. Should be fun. We never got these BRZ STIs, though. In North America, either. We don't get anything. All the cool cars don't come here. It's bullshit. All right. The Fujis. Evo 4s. GTOs again, but I didn't see any of those cars saying the main rival cars. They're not even there, so I don't know what you're talking about. Talking about. Let's get Godzilla. Let's get it. What's up, Red? All right, we're in the wet. I can't hit that. I, ha I can't hit Godzilla. I don't want to start a kaiju war. I don't watch Superman, Jajim, so I don't really know. I don't, I don't care that much. I actually found Superman to be kind of boring. Oh, that's a tight... Oh, man, don't... Whoa, that's a sharp hairpin. My goodness me. Oh, shit. The R33 gods are gonna hate me. Let me guess, the first place guy is in like a whole nother dimension. Where the hell? 
because there's not enough guys here. No, it's not open world. Like, where is top two? It's always the same dudes. There they are. God, these are some tight corners. And there's not like a set difficulty, Sam. There's like, there's multiple settings. I'm on the no assistant setting, or no, not no assistant, but it's on the hardest one. So there's like, I, but it, that's, that comes with an asterisk. It's not like the hardest, hardest, hardest. Like in terms of AI difficulty, it's set, I think the highest. I think, I can't remember, but it gives you an option. There's like beginner, experienced, and pro. I think that's the three difficulties they have. I'm on the pro difficulty because I saw all the driving assists they throw on on those other difficulties. I'm like, I don't want those. There's some assists I have on just to kind of keep me on, uh, you know, the right benchmark, help teach me, but. Shit, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm gonna get black flagged for that. That's rough. I still gotta catch that NSX. I mean, to be fair, I do have another lap ahead of me, so. I mean, they're not even in the same class of car, so it's kind of like a struggle for the BRZ to do. Obviously, the wet doesn't help none. Yeah, you can do that, Lenny. The classic controls are, are available. Yeah, track and stability are on. I might turn off stability or traction control. That's what I'm saying. That's why there was an asterisk, yeah. Actually, I'm not sure if they both are on. I have to double check. It does require a, um, it does require a online all the time connection, even during single player, unfortunately. Little drifty, oh shit, we're drifting out here, boy. I wonder if you know. There's no extra rewards. It's not like, uh, I think Forza does that shit. That, uh, I keep forgetting that turn is a hairpin. I know some people were asking me as well why I don't use, like, I mean, this you see so much more. Like, you have, like, such a, you can hit the apex, like, every time with the hood mode. Or not hood, but... I'll show you a third person follow cam. Oh, here's the hood mode. It's so rigid, I don't like it at all. It, it makes the game look so unrealistic. In my opinion. Like it looks like I can't look left or right, I can only look behind me. So I can't. So I prefer a cockpit cam. That NSX tries to fight. I mean, you got Torino and uh, an NSX in the same race. Like, come on. No, the only thing I've noticed, I think if you if you run with zero assists, there is uh, a, a trophy, I think. If you win a race with no assists, 
All right, we just picked up Godzilla. Now we just got to get the S15, Sylvia. And that'll be it for this um, thingamajig. All right, we are going to... Where is it? Tokyo Expressway. All right, it's literally the same kind of thing. It's the, it's a, well, it's the cop, right? So. I'm ready. Oh, why did it do that? They always start me in the back on these ones. Not well, not always, but most times. Very planted. That GTR looks good. Almost went into the parking garage to meet up with Tosh and the Drift King. Twink as well is in there. top two guys but I've already made up the places in the first lap so It's curious that the 86 is up here. I can't get by this 86 at all.
is a fun track, guys. I should have braked more. Actually, that might set me up nicely. It's actually a BRZ, but it's BRZ STI. I've tuned it though. It's a boxer engine, so it'll still sound similar. Oh, I rubbed. Gonna need a paint touch up. it encourages a bit of drifting like to me to make the corner even better except for when you fuck it up as soon as every time I always say that it just messes me up <laughs> wow what a horrible line that was rough That was fun, man. That's a good course. All right, that's another book done. I mean, they do have the new STI in game. There's the Sylvia S15. All right, new racing suit, Alpine Stars. I forgot, I got new sh new gear there. I should probably maybe look into that. Because I have a new helmet as well. I think I was just looking. All right, we got to go back to the cafe. Before I do that, though, I think I want to... Uh, go to my garage? No, it's in GT Auto. What the hell? Oh, there they are. So that's the default. But it's a different color, so it doesn't really match, does it? I mean, I guess you kind of can do it. I mean, just change, can I change the colors? Like, just so, like. I see. Let's ch I like the black, but let's, let's see. I want to change those other stripes. There you go, that's what I want to change. I should do, like, Team 8000 blue. The blues don't look as cool, do they? Actually, that's a good looking blue. I like the blue, gray, and black. That's sick. Just need the right shade. I think I like this one the best. All 
Alright, we'll just save that. Blow. There you go. Yeah, hell yeah. There's maintenance things. It's it's funny. Yes. Please and thank you. And I'll do something similar with my suit. Good suit. Okay. Because now this just looks weird. It like stands out. Oh, wait, no. I don't want the... Wait, hold on. There you go. Okay. Oh, there's only one color? Well, it's gotta be black then. If we're gonna do that, it's gotta be... And let's see, look at the blue. Is that too aggressive or does that look cool? I mean, that actually looks pretty cool. Well, let's see what black looks like. No, I mean, that's kind of purple, but I think I'll just do it with the blue. Why not? There you go. We're ready to rock and roll. Blow. Blue. What's up, Monk? All right, there you go. Team 8000 Blue, my dudes. Let's go. Ready to rock and roll. Simple, yet effective. Cool. We look pretty badass now. And you got black scents all over the place, too. What up, Stang? Hey, Quadarius. What are they? Um, well, my right arm is an alien sleeve. You know, first and second films. And my left is a Star Wars dark side. You got Death Star on the hand, and it goes up. You got Boba, Vader, uh, Palpatine. Stormtroopers, stuff like that. Congratulations, you've got all three cars. This completes your Nissan Sports Cars collection. Once you've collected your rewards, I've got some stories. All right, cool. Oh, we're going to Australia. No worries, Mike. No worries. No worries at all. No worries, Mike. No worries. All right, Luca, what do you have to say about yourself? Say for yourself. Those wheels are not doing that Sylvia justice. They look horrible. You got to change that. Anyway, the Nissan Z. And the GTR. Ah, Dasuki. Dasuka. Dasuki. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> I couldn't read it. I'm an idiot. Thank you so much for that super chat, big play. I appreciate you. What up, Ray? And the GTR. You may have heard of these cars. They're two of the world's most loved Japanese sports cars made by Nissan. The Z33 is the fifth gen Nissan Z. And it's great in both styling and performance. The R32 Skyline GTR is one of the great Japanese cars in history. God, that looks so good. Oh, it's a true legend having a long history of race victories in top Japanese domestic touring car races. Man, I... I finally, I've, I've had my sleeves finished for years. I think I got... This was my second right sleeve, like my second full sleeve. And it got finished in like 2018, I think. 17, 2017, something like that. 2018. And I got my half leg sleeve finished in like 2018. 2018, wait, 2019. Anyway, the Sylvia is also a model that has been loved by many fans over the years. Combining a powerful turbocharged engine with rear wheel drive, it's a popular car for drifting. It's easy to see why Nissan sports cars have always been a mainstay of Japanese car culture. All right, rally based. Oh, yay, I love rally cars. I used to watch rally as a kid all the time. All right, so it's STI. New, these are newer ones. NCI Evo, the final edition. And the Yaris RZ, high performance. All right, well, I want that Yaris. <laughs> All right, now you'd like, I'd like to collect Japanese rally base. Rallies are races whose cars complete, compete on pavement and off-road terrain. These off-road surfaces can vary from dirt, snow, and even sand. As you can imagine, the base production cars used for rally machines are powerful and specialized. They're usually four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. Which means that's all feel that all four wheels are driven. These cars have developed quite a following. I'm looking forward to seeing them. It's true. It's because they're affordable, fast cars. You know. Yeah, sure, Grant. I'll get in as soon as I can. Okay. Um. 
So, we're probably going to have to end up swapping out cars anyway for this next one. Unless it tells me to do Japanese again. But it'll probably be like, oh, we need you to have Japanese. Oh, there's two of them. Well, I wonder which one. Oh, is it kind of splitting them? It looks like it's splitting them. This will give us the Yaris. Which one gives us the STI? All right, well, then I'm going to go... I'm going to go to the Trial Mountain, and I'm going to go for the uh, STI. Oh, I need something that has four-wheel drive. What do I have? I have an R32. Dude, we should do a Godzilla build. What's the power recommendation? 600. Let's tune this bish. I'm okay with this. There can't be too many of these championships anymore, hey? There's probably like two more to fill in the bottom. I don't know. Okay, let me go to the tuning shop. Not yet. I have not. I don't have one. But I would like to get one. I just got to find one that works for both PC and PS5. I don't know if they do. Because, I mean, they're pretty expensive, hey? If I had to get a full set twice, that would suck. Anywho, uh, we are going on the track. Honestly, I might actually do... I know I have 91000 I was hoping I'd have a bit more. Um, okay, naturally, these cars can pump out stupid power. So I'm going to go ahead and give it the full beans. Okay, I'm going to give it a proper turbo. I don't know if I want the high end or mid. High RPM. You get more power, but the bent, you get most of the boost. Um, but where? It usually tells you at what point. Usually it says, you know, peak power at this, you know, our RPM, but it's not showing me this, this, you know, what's going down. I don't know if I want high RPM or if I want mid. Because that all your boosts will come in in the mids. You know what I'm saying? Hold on a sec, guys. Okay. Um. Nah, I'll stick with the high. I think we'll be spending a lot of time in the highs too. What did they recommend again? Was it 600 for this? Height adjustable. I'll do height adjustable for sure. Uh, I don't think I need an LSD on this right now. Oh, no. I want race intercooler. These are things that will actually help. So I'm going to get... Oh, we'll go drilled this time. Good brakes. Um, so what are we at? 585. We're getting there. We're starting to run out of money, though. Well, not really. That's going to be expensive for the gain, so it's not going to be worth it. I think I'd rather go a new set of tires. I'd have to go racing, which is going to be expensive. It's not worth it, so I'm going to go down to the sports, and we'll go with a set of sports soft. That'll boost us to a 600. I'm not done with this car, though. Um, things like this, they're they're fairly inexpensive. And they get you a good chunk of power out of them. So, I am cool with that. I think I might go weight reduction. It's not a very heavy car as it is, but... I mean, every little bit's going to help. We're going to run out of money, though. New headers. I gotta stop spending money. I gotta stop spending money. I'm running out of money. But that's why they give you those other ones, just in case, right? What am I at? Six foot. That's probably good. I was honestly gonna go take this thing too. Actually, just out of curiosity, I wanna go see what we can do with this bad boy. Like, what's it got? It's 7K. See, these are all visual mods. You know what I mean? Like, that looks so sick. And then this is where a big wing is suitable. But I like the ducktail. The ducktail is pretty dope as well. It's kind of clean. It's got a D badge as well. You could do big wing. You could. You could do big wing with this. But Ducktail looks mad clean. Hood pin. 
Toe hook. The strap or the... And you can actually put a cage in it. This full cage. So this is like the shell. Single cross, double cross. I would go with type C all day. But we got to save our money. That's... It's, it sucks that not all cars get the same, like, modification treatment, you know? All right. Let's go in. I think... Oh, wait. Oh, ha, ha, he, ha. I forget every time I get a new car, I have to... Sorry. Mm, no, Scott. I don't I don't think they this one will come to PC. If it does, it won't be till like a year from now. Whenever PlayStation releases their games on PC, it's... Oh, shit. Sorry. Um, it's super... It's super late. You know what I mean? Like, it, like I'm guessing it will be like a year, if, if at all, you know? Okay, so car settings. Sports soft. Let's drop this. I want to drop it to the ground. It actually did imp improve the performance just by lowering it. I think that's fantastic. I still have a normal diff. ECU I didn't touch. Anti. Oh, you can get an anti. Oh, man. I'm debating. I, an anti lag. This can actually have an anti lag system. That would be so sick. I think I might need to go buy that. Let me go back. Hey, Sarah. Doing good. How are you? Hey, Law. What's up? I know I only have like 12 grand to my name, but each race is going to get me some more money. So I'm not too concerned. Anti lag for 5K. I'm doing it. Anti lag, two step. <laughs> Lots of fire. Lots of flame. You gotta love it. Hey, what up, Gwen? Lock, how you doing, bruv? Alright, so we'll start in the Americas. And we will go and get our STI. So we get 20,000 credits for getting first place. See what I mean? You do get money back pretty quick. Yeah, I feel like people who don't know anything about cars probably wouldn't even play this one. Wouldn't even play the game. Someone offered to trade me their R32 GTR for my M3. Oh, wait. Did I do brakes? I did. Okay, yeah, yeah, I did. I love the sound of that turbo, though, man. STI, I got one of those, except mine's a wagon. <laughs> I keep talking about that. I wish they'd put the GF8 in these in these games, but it's it's just the GCA. Oh, hard power, or hard braking. I mean, oh my new gloves, boy! I forgot about that. We changed the color. With anti lag as well. It's like a whistle, it's like, you know what I mean? It's just sucking in air. And then when you let it off. <laughs> Let's go, give me that boost. Give me that boost. Holy shit. I honestly wouldn't mind a GTR build, like an R34, but they're so expensive now. R32s are more, more affordable. Wait for the boost to kick in. Here it comes. Oh, let's go. There we go. We're going through, honestly, I think I need a new transmission. We go through the gears so quick. Oh man, I missed the apex by a, like a yard.
shit. I should have braked way harder. is maxed out at 180k. It can't do anything higher than that. And we're just going 260. Casually going 290. You don't have to brake that soon. I honestly think I can brake it. The brakes are better, so I can really push it. up there. Whoops. It's the final lap. Boost. Anti-light doing its work. Let's go. I think with a wide body kit, this GTR would look so fucking good. Because I know you can apply a wide body kit. Oh, wait, I got 30,000 credits for that. Why? I thought they said it was 20k. Oh, plus 50%? I got a bonus. Give me that! There you go. We got ourselves an STI. I should probably go to the doctor and check it out. I remember when I got my STI. That was, at, like, my family who weren't car people kept making jokes about that. I think you should probably get them checked out. <laughs> It's like, okay. We get it. They decided to change the name of STD to STI. Thanks. Meanwhile, the STI, who's been there since, like, the 90s, early 90s, like, 94 or whatever, got shit on, you know? <laughs> anyway, we're done. That was... Yeah, okay, that was uh, that was the U.S. So we, I, I realize we've unlocked all the tracks in the Oce Oce Oceana slash Asia. Man, I got, I've been drinking too much coffee. I got to piss. <laughs> Kyoto now. All right, we got more time with the GTR. Hold on, before we do, I'm actually going to go back. I just want to see what the car is going to look like with a body kit. I shouldn't spend money on visual mods, but come on. It looks so good. Oh, nope, that's not where you buy it. You don't, you don't, don't buy it here. They split it. Let's give it a car wash. Let's give it a little car wash. Let's take a look. What's it look like? It's 50 grand. For, that's an expensive body kit. The M3s was only 25 grand. Look at the offset, bro. Oh my god. It looks like a woman in a dress. You know what I'm saying? The offset is horrid. We need new wheels. And the problem is the wheels you... Oh, that looks so bad, bro. It just looks like... I mean, it's... The, okay, the fitment is off completely. So naturally, the body kit looks fantastic. But the fitment is absolute garbage. And in order to get a decent fitment, we're going to need a very wide wheel. Something like a 295, 305, something like that. You know what I mean? A wide ass, you know, something, something like that. A thick, chunky tire. So, I mean, it, what's funny is it actually improves the PP. Because the track width gets wider. You know what I mean? So... I would have to... What I'd have to do is go... I can't even afford it. I can't even afford it. I'd have to go buy some... Um, new wheels first. Maybe some like... I don't know. TE37s or something. Something Japanese would suit the car very well. Naturally. Alright, we're going... Oh no, sorry. We're going to Kyoto. Sorry. I Honestly, I'm not going to be able to focus. So I'm going to take my piss first. And I'll be back in a second. Talk amongst yourselves, okay? I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Do y'all miss me? Do y'all miss me? Okay. Is there, wait, is someone driving around the track for fun? Look at the track. Oh, or is it just showing you the route? I think it's just showing you the route. I don't know. We have, we apparently haven't been on this track yet. I think we had just unlocked it. So what am I at? I'm sorry, what is my rating? 6546. I need more money. I gotta keep, I, I gotta save up money. If I don't have to buy a new car, I won't. Or not buy a new car, but if I don't have to, like, tune a car from the ground up. Man, that GC8 looks so sick. It's like my one of my favorite STIs, which is why I bought one. But I, I wanted a wagon, so I bought the GF8, right? So it's so fun to drive, man. In the winter time, it's like the shit. Hey, what up, Bill? All right, I want to I want to settle this debate. Hold on, I I just had a I had a thought, and I'm gonna go ahead and create a poll. I'm curious. Now. Nowadays, the I remember the overwhelming consensus used to be something else, but I'm curious. What would you take? Let's see. I'm curious because now I, I know the old answer, what it used to be, and now my, I think it's different. Oh, shit. I'm so sorry. Is that a 3000 GT? I almost bought one of those. But then I didn't. I mean, it's a GTO, but... Similar to a 3000 GT. Isn't that like the successor? Or no. I can't remember. Ah! Sorry. What's up, Meg? How you doing? Sorry, I'm so sorry. Is that a is that a 22B? It looks like a 22B. It is. That was a 22B. I would like a 22B in my garage, please. They're super rare and they're mad expensive. Six figures for an STI, bro. I love my new color on my... Oh shit, I'm going off. That's gonna cost me. Right, okay, that's what I thought. I knew, I I thought so, Dave. I, I was... I'm really disappointed in Mitsubishi though. I, I'm really mad that they ditched their performance vision and they've just decided to sell you know, economy cars. They've become a very boring manufacturer for that reason. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know. I didn't really hit that that nicely, but... The car is too powerful for them. This is the turn I messed up originally. That was better, but it still wasn't that great.
Good stuff. All right, 56,000, well, 57,000, basically. We're sitting in the bank, roughly. Give me that Yaris. Honestly, this thing is pretty badass. I'm not going to lie to you. It's That's a truly affordable, like, nippy little car. Because remember when the Yaris first came out, it was kind of a joke? Man, there must be a lot of STI, like, GF8s, you know? There's, or, sorry, GC8s. There's a lot of GC8s out there. Different variations. Okay. Get that Evo. See, like, most people would pick uh, an STI. And beforehand, when I asked that, I used to pull, I pull my, my audience a few, like, over the years for, car, for, you know, asking car questions between that. I would pull, always ask that question. And uh, Evo would always win. Evo would always get the number one. But I don't think that's the case anymore. It's just... You know what I mean? I, I I think it's because of what I I feel like if Mitsu was still making the Evo, it'd be a different story. But I don't know. So a lot of other companies like decided to step up and made try and make cars that competed with the STI because they because the STI had the market all to itself for a while. Nice overtake right in the inside. This looks like Bathurst to me, but I'm not sure if it is. R34 needs to respect its elders and let the OG daddy to crew. Hey Stitch, how's it going? It definitely has a turbo in it. Listen to it. It's louder than your Dyson vacuum. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. We're done. All a part of my plan. Oh, look at that cheese. Oh, no. Dude, the cheese. Oh, that is so disrespectful. Dude, it didn't, it didn't reset me because I managed to... Oh. Oh my god, what a cheesy move. That's a cheesy gordita crunch right there. Holy shit. I should have been like docked some time, but I Oh man. That was the, the like that was the craziest corner cut I've ever done by mistake. I did not mean to do that. And it, it honestly I cheesed the game. Normally if you go that far off track it resets you, but I managed to keep it inside, so I was off court, or sorry, I was off track long enough to the point where it was like, oh, it's it's negatively impacting him, and then I bounced right onto track again. Oh my god, that is so funny. That normally would not be allowed. I confused the game. Now I'm like way ahead of everybody. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, 
I might watch the replay on that just to see it, you know, from an alternate view. can't take that corner right for some reason. It's all good. I'm 20 seconds ahead. I managed to survive. Go, give me that 20k. Just give me a bonus for that recovery. What's up, window? I'm really enjoying it so far. It's a lot of fun. There's like challenges they give you. It doesn't make it go too like just. It's not too distracting. You know what I mean? I would like to mute the music, but I just want to see what happens. Here it comes. Here it comes, guys. Everything's looking good. I fucked up. Oh, God. What have I done? What have I done? And then he's like, I don't think so, boy. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. That's so funny. <laughs> Ah, it's so fun. Uh, I haven't. I it does. You can buy in-game credits. That's the only thing I've seen so far. But so far, I haven't needed it. All right, let's go back and uh, bank our stuff. That that's a cool photo. I like that. It's like you're on a road trip with your buddies. All right, congrats, you've got all three cars. This completes your Japanese Rally Base Cars collection. Once you've collected your rewards, I've got some stories to tell you about them, okay. Give me that roulette ticket. All right, well, there's a new guy, Jeremy. Let's see what Chris has to say about the uh, R32. Of all the GTRs, the R32 stands out as truly special. From the late 60s to early 70s, the Skyline seemed unstoppable on the Japanese race circuit. However, Nissan halted production of the Skyline GTR in response to the 73 oil crisis. In 1989, the GTR name was revived with this R32 Skyline GTR. Nissan poured all of its technical know-how into its development. The hard work paid off as the R32 dominated the competition from the get-go, winning the hearts of motorsports fans. I can only imagine what it, that its value will continue to increase over time. Yeah, so if you can get one. How about Jeremy? Who are you? This car, is it yours? Oh, wow, Jeremy, nothing gets past you, does it? Wow, that dialogue. Jeremy loves nothing more than geeking out about racing. Wow, seeing a car like this up close, absolute treat. It'd be funny if it was like a fucking Prius, if he said that. This third gen R GTR Skyline played a lead role in reviving interest in Japanese touring car races. A major hit upon its release in 89, it's said to have sold some 43,000 units despite its high price tag. A race ready version was developed shortly after. This car claimed a pole to win victory in the 1990 Japanese Touring Car Championship. Following this great achievement, the race GTR boasted 29 consecutive wins over the course of four years. All right, Luke has got some information for us. What's up, Smaley? How you doing? Rallying is a form of motorsports that takes place on a variety of road surfaces. Representing the highest form of rally competition is the World Rally Championship, the WRC, which is incredibly popular with the car enthusiasts, especially those in Europe and Japan. Rally cars are capable of incredible speeds on everything from dirt to ice and mud. It's among the most thrilling forms of racing to watch. It's true. I love rally. It's dope. Japanese manufacturers have been producing cars for international rally races since the 60s, but they really came into their own in the 90s. Yeah. 
Back then, the winning formula consisted of an effective all-wheel drive system and a high-powered turbocharged engine. This was something that Toyota, Mitsubishi, and Subaru seemed to do better than anyone. All three of these manufacturers left their mark on WRC history, claiming many championships between them. All right, show your custom wing. What's this all about? I have a new book. Ask about wing wings. Why? Wait, what? Go to customize cars and fill a custom wing set. Oh, fit one. Okay. All right. So that's actually one of my challenges is to buy a wing. Before you take on the Asia Oceana Championship, I'd like you to tune your car. Go to customize cars, GT Auto, select custom parts and wing. I know how to do this. Doesn't matter which car you use, but the custom wing sets aren't available for all models. If you go to the shop and custom wing isn't available, try using a different car. If you're not sure which car to use, I suggest the GTR. Okay. Custom will be okay. Did he just say souped up? Man, that's such a boomer expression. Come back here once the custom wing has been fitted. I'll be waiting. Show your custom. Alright, well that's it. Well, I'm curious then, before we go into the cha I, I want to check the championship actually. Unless it's not gonna show me. Because I if I'm gonna if I'm gonna I'm gonna might as well spend some money on the championship or on the GTR, like like visually. I mean I have seventy six thousand. They want me to buy a wing. Well, I created the pole spiral. And I'm the one who ended the pole, so yeah. <laughs> They're gonna make I mean I guess I can just get a simple wing. Like this is like a high kick. The ducktail looks so clean though. With a wide body, the ducktail might be my winner. Hold on, let me just it's fifty grand though for a Fuck man, it's fifty grand for a for the wide body of this car. What do you guys think? Should I ducktail it? It just makes it look a lot cleaner. It's not as high, but it's it's just that I feel these wings look good to a degree, but I honestly I think they're overdone. This is basically a stock wing with a high kick on it. I'm gonna go with Ducktail. Ducktail, woo! <laughs> Ducktail, woo! I want to see the wheels though. I mean, everyone goes the TE37. I think they look clean. That actually looks pretty good. They're, I mean, they're some of the most common wheels, though. Is there anything else? You can go with a colored rim, and, like, it'll be fine on this car. Like, where are the expensive? I, I, oh yeah, there, there's your 10Ks. These are the expensive wheels. Spoon is Japanese, I think, as well. They ordered. Honda engine, Honda, Honda Civics with spoon engines. 3T66 turbos and a Motec system exhaust. Because, Dom, you know, I can't lose again. I don't know. I got the ducktail, woo-woo, so I think I'm good with that. Ducktails, woo! <laughs> All right, well, we got that ducktail. It's going to look mad, like, sl slammed with fat wheels and a bot wide body kit. That ducktail spoiler is just going to be really nice. The thing is, I fitted the spoiler. Now what? I mean, it, the wide body kit's 50 grand. Car looks completely different with that wing, doesn't it? And what's more, it'll allow you to adjust downforce. You can adjust your downforce by going aerodynamics. Try increasing it. Yeah, yeah, there are many other parts available. So go ahead and customize Asia, Oceana, it's time to put your tune machine to the test. So, I'm gonna go... Oh, it's a three-star roulette, hey? And we have to go do the championships. We're gonna go ahead and say yes. It's got a tri... Oh, the Nürburgring will come on. Once we do this, the Nürburgring is coming. Guys, we've unlocked the Nürburgring after this. Let's go. Red Bull ring as well. That's gonna be money. That's fucking sick. Ooh, butters. You gotta love an R34, man.
Supra MK4. Gotta love a Supra as well. Oh man, that's just JDM beauty right there. Oh, there's a couple Korean cars in there as well. Cool photo op. It's ready. We are ready for this. All right. Well, I'm gonna open those garage tokens because if they can give me a mod, or like some sort of mod. Honestly, I wouldn't mind money. I'm not gonna lie to you. I got two of these bad boys. They're both three stars. This one I got sooner, so let's open this one. I don't need cars, but honestly, I'll take the money. This is a three tier. The car is actually not as good as the parts. I'll take the money or the nitrous. They gave me the lowest amount of money. It's still gonna be like eight grand. That's a waste of a three tier, three star. But it's still color, it's still bronze though, so it's like. And that's that uh, Nissan 400Z, right? Damn it! The lowest amount of money again! What a waste! Thing's rigged, man. It's rigged. All right, what new cars did we get? We'll have to clear it from the lists. We haven't really had any German cars in a while, hey? 180, R32. So all been JDM in this run. Sylvia, Fair Lady Z, STI, Evo, Yaris RZ, and no, no American cars, now, obviously. I really want to do something to this car, you know? Like, I really want to just fatten it out. But I don't know if I'm going to use it again. That's my concern. It's like, do I waste the money? I'll leave it. I think I'll, I think I'll modify appearance once I, once I have more cash. You know? Anyway, this is our next one. Oceana. J Japanese or South Korean car? What do they reckon? A 600. That's for already at that rank. All right, the Asia Oceana Championship. So this says oh, this is a three for. So this is gonna be all the big boys and possibly the big girls. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to rock with Gojira. Thinking with the yellow mirrors and the gold accents, what is he crazy? See, all these cars are tuned. Like, you know, that was sorry, visually. My headphones are in the way. There we go. They really didn't change it recently, Megan. That was like that's been like six years or something since they changed it. Maybe more. Ah shit. 
rough turn. All good, Mike. Thanks, bro. This is where I get them on the straights. Hey, Vlad. Uh, yes, it is free. It's uh, PS4, PS5. But because of that, the graphics on PS5 are seem a bit restricted. mean then they would have changed it in like 17 but it's been longer than that I swear Expensive though. 100k in game credits for Nitrous. I'm off the line. Now I'm back on it. Off it. Back on it. <laughs> There's still another lap to go. I can brake later than uh, than than they can because of my brakes. Got a nice big brake kit. They're not carbon ceramic, but they'll do the trick. Braked a little bit late. I just wanted to see how much I could get away with. Shit. I thought I'd be able to cut it properly, but I fucked that up. Oh, that's hella cringe. I hate that. My neck muscles get all tight. It was too much braking and it wasn't even a good exit. Oh my god, that was a terrible corner. Okay, we got a stupid lead. John, your coworkers are probably wondering, what in the hell kind of shit are you taking? You just hear this. <laughs> your butthole is like whistling, sucking inward. They're like, why is he sucking inward? Good shit. So fun. That's right. That's a good course. Alright, that's only the first race though. We have uh, two more to go. 
in this championship. Next race. These boys can't hang, bro. They can't hang with this. But since there's three laps, or sorry, there's three races, there's a higher chance of you taking first without getting second or third place. You know what I mean? You have a chance to fight your way back. But I'm leading the podium right now, so I'm I'm top tier. I'm S tier right now. Like, look at the boost, man. I mean, it's simmy, but it's, it's, it's not boring. Like, e there's like a purpose to each race. You're not just playing, you are playing similar tracks, but you're constantly doing different things on each track that, while you are playing same tracks, they are changing things up enough to the point where it's like different. Like, I'm not playing the same thing that frequently, whereas other games, other sim games, you play the same track over and over and over again with the same purpose, you know? This game does sims well. I should have known that. I mean, it's Gran Turismo. They know what they're doing. Oh, not enough braking. I'm going to go over. No, I managed to save. Oh, what the hell is this? What happened? How did I miss that hairpin? Oh, my goodness me. Fuck you, man! Get out of the way! People are crazy. A lot of hairpins. I'm not giving it the respect. I'm only... I mean, there's 16 people in this race. Twenty thirteen. Yeah, that sounds more right, Meg. I thought so. It's almost a decade ago. Oh, I tried to take that RX-7 on the outside. It ended kind of rough, but it's always the same chaps up front. The A90 and the STI. You messed me up, bro. Oh, man, I'm understeering bad. I'm understeering like a mother. Oh my god, get back on track. Holy tits. At the moment, Davis, I'm using a controller. Oh god, I'm going too fast. I'm going to miss it again. Sometimes just got to e-brake it. That's a, I gotta break hard there, man. I gotta remember that for my final lap. I keep cutting. But yeah, right now I'm using a controller. I don't have a wheel. They're mad pricey. I, I do wanna get one though. I feel like it'd be more fun. Manual shifting will be a lot more fun. though I think I think if you buy the ps4 version you'll get a ps5 upgrade because I have like when I got this game it came with it was like a ps4 and a ps5 it links to your account Shit, I am not. 
Man, you moron. We're, let's just, we're gonna go shopping. We're going to the show. Wow, that was wide. I can't even make a joke about that. That was so fucking wide. What am I doing with my life? I'm e-braking. Just get back on track. Actually, brake. Break. I'm actually gonna make the hairpin this time. Look at that, I made the hairpin. Back on power, let's finish this bad boy with a bang. Magalos, thank you for being a member for the last five months, my dude. I got I'll read your message in a second. As soon as I cross that line. What up, Dan? Hope you're having a great day. It's been a tough couple months for me to join your streams, but I'm doing my best to catch you. Cheers. Oh well thanks, man. I totally get it. Watch whenever you can, big guy. The streams will always be here, they'll save us a VOD, you know, there's not a problem there. But obviously, it's nice to have everyone in here live, too. That's always fun. There you go. Give me 50k. See, these are worth big big bank. Big bank. But I spend my money so fast, I never save it up. Because they kind of make you, based on the challenges, they kind of make you save up. Or not save up. Uh, sorry, they make you spend it. Because they're like, you need this kind of stipulation, but we recommend it has a PP of this. All right, the final one, we are up in the top. Third race. Let's take this championship home, my dudes. I ain't no punk bitch. I ain't no punk bitch neither. Let's go. Once the boost comes in. All right, so we're back on Bathurst. Do not be afraid to break towards the end of the course. This is also another very fun track. Bye. Went off track there a little bit. Risky move. That actually slowed me down. Sometimes you're better off just backing off so you don't lose your line. Oh, I'm in 10th place. I got a lot of places to make up. Man, this course, I've played it in so many racing games before. I love that part. But each one does it a little differently. All right, this is where I'm gonna take these guys on the straights. Oh, that NSX just did me dirty. Good, bro. I braked really late. 
sort of salvaged. I still got work to do. The top two are there, but I got two laps. Oh, a little squiggly there. I must have hit the dirt. It's always the same guys up top, like every time. Inside, a oh, little bump, no problem. A little buff out. Like this close racing, like you just see all the details of the cars. It's so cool, man. You feel immersed. I got all this horsepower and all this room to gallop. That one's a weird one because it's like, stop, stop, stop. But no, I, I shouldn't stop yet. I'll stop way too early. off my line. I was in a good line for a while. I can't wait to go to the Nürburgring, guys. It's going to be insane. Nordschleife is like the main track. It's the big boy. So we can go to the Nürburgring and do like small sections of it, but they're going to eventually give us Nordschleife and it's going to be the full track. See how late I can break? I mean, that time I was a little bit late, but I still, you see what I mean? Like, there's so much time I can save by doing that. Man, it's dark. Wait till we, I'm sure Lamont is in this, it must be. Let's go. That was a fun race. That's the final one in the championship too, my guys. That's number one, my friend. Number one. My friending. 
36 points. See what I mean? They were all over the map. So I could have got like fourth place and I still would have won. 25 grand. But that's the whole championship. You gotta give me more than that. M3. Oh, we're going for the M cars. Let's go. Yes. I don't really care which one I have. But they're gonna get... Uh, honestly, I wouldn't mind an E46 M3. I've already got an E92. F82 is gonna be the fastest of the lot, but it's not my favorite. It doesn't matter. Any one of these is a win. E30. Let's go the classic. That's exciting. Where the M3 began. Nice. They're definitely... He's probably gonna have me go for, uh... For M3s. They must be. That must be the next group. And then we're going to go to Germany, I'll bet. There's going to be a bunch of German tracks. Oh, well, thanks, Mateus. Appreciate you. I mean, we might unlock it afterwards. He might be like, hey, dog. What do you got? Well done for winning the Asia Oceana Championship. I have, I have your reward ready to collect. Take it, you burn it. So we've unlocked the Red Bull Ring. Dragon Tail in Croatia and the Nurburgring in Germany. Let's go. Yes, the BMW M M3 collection. I've already talked to these guys about that, so we're not going to do that. So M3. Oh, it actually gave us. It actually wants us to get the E46. So what we should have got there was the F82. Well, no, I guess we needed both. But no, no, no. We, we should have got the F82. Uh, I mean, I guess it's an M4. That'd be the F82 M4, but you know what I mean? Like, I mean, they should have given us that one because this is, it's, it wasn't necessary for this. We've already got, so now we've got the E92. I'm going to be able to use the E92 again. I wonder if I should spend more money on the E92 and just tune it even more. I think that's a good call. Maybe we should wide body it. This may like to collect cars made by a German manufacturer, BMW. Specifically, you'll be collecting the M series of high performance sports cars. Come back to the cafe once you collected all three and you'll get a reward. I'm surprised there's no like M5 in this. Like, that seems bizarre to me. No M5. I didn't see an M1. I don't know. Anyway, let's go to the garage. Actually, I got to get in my car first. Get out of my car. Oh. So, we just got the E30. Sport Evo. Absolutely stunning. All right. Uh, change cars. Where is it? There's my girl. Okay. Okay. What is your name? What is your quest? What is your favorite color? Blue. All right, you can go ahead. <laughs> I'm done with UFC at this point. You want me to go back to UFC 2? Bruh. Bruh. See, it doesn't let you do any forced induction. Let's see what we can do. Can't do any force induction, obviously. I'm going to... Oh, wait. I've already got the carbon ceramics. Headers we've got. There's just nothing else I think I can get from this uh, stage. It won't let me go weight reduction any further at a certain point. It just doesn't let you do it. New crankshaft. I'd say that makes sense. Semi... No. Don't need that. Because we've already got the race muffler. Polish the ports. Every little bit. I want this thing to be stupid. It's still kind of low on the torque side. That's why you need force induction for that. Fully customizable racing suspension or transmission. Let's go. Every little bit. Oh, I, I wasn't done. <laughs> All right. What do we have? We've done a lot of stuff for this already. I don't actually have a... Uh, where would it be? Fully customizable LSD. Um... Yeah, the racing transmission. I wonder if it's gonna... I'm just curious about something, actually. I wonder if I should put nitrous in it. Better drift control. It's redundant. You know what? YOLO! Let's go! We've got nitrous! 
All right, we've got nitrous. I just spent almost all that money on the nitrous. I wonder how many sprays we get per per uh, per race. Oh my! I forgot I was gonna spend the money on the body kit, but it didn't happen. <laughs> I mean, I still have money. I think it's twenty five grand for the body kit for this car. Let me just see. Uh, okay. Oh, I only have sports tire. Oh, shit. I still have those. I got to go for race. I don't have the money for it. I might have to come back. Because I was going to get better tires. I fucking forgot about the tires. I have sports. The sports are fine, but I need better tires. Yikes. I, actually, I don't know if I have enough money for it, but... Fully customizable. It's already slammed, right? Yeah. Arrow. I mean, I guess I do have a rear wing, technically, so control see look where all the power is way up in the high like high high part of the rev band you know everything's set to racing the handbrake is normal who cares brake balancing is normal at the moment that's gonna be fun 40 percent nitrous because yeah you don't want it all at once that might uh that might cause a problem let me go back and see if i can afford any of the tires i think with 25k i think i'm soa right now or SOL, I should say. Um, I mean, I can get the hard. I can't get medium tires. I usually want at least medium. At the very least. But I think we'll save up for the slicks. I mean, it's just one race, really. Like, I mean, let's... Oh, let me go back here. My only problem, though, that I had... Was the body kit... Uh, oh, sorry. The Oh, whoops. I didn't want that. The only problem I had with this is the body kit... Um, was the, the fitment wasn't right and it, it doesn't seem to let you modify it the way you want see what i mean the, the fitment isn't totally right that that's with aftermarket wheels as well so i don't really understand why it's it's not the fitment isn't isn't on like on point what's up chris so it's like is there any other wheels that can you change the size of the wheels Let's just go BBS. It's just for fun. I don't want to buy them, but... Oh, wait. Did I not choose wide before? I think I did. But it doesn't matter how wide it is. I think I only get one free placement. More meat. 20s look weird. Because it's such a low profile tire. 19's good for street. 18's best for the track. That's like your best like compromise. Because I don't want to spend the money if I've already got. Because it might give you one free replacement. Yeah, see those look fine. I guess we're not wide bodying it right now. I'll save the money anyway. So what else is there? All right, you can do the big wing, but I just went high kick. I miss these hood pins. Toe hook if I want it. I didn't see the cage. I don't know why I didn't. I want to go cage. I, I totally missed the cage before. Uh, Livery edit. Wait, paint color, right? Hold on. Um... No, I, I, you sh can't you just change the color? I wish you could change the color of the interior parts. Neither. What up, Chris? I don't know if I got you yet. But we put the cage in there. Which I think does help your PP. I can't take that seriously, honestly. That's too bad. No front grill changes. I don't want a tow hook. I don't really want a hood pin. But I'll take the cage. My The cage in my car is like... It's like the same blue as my calipers. It's all about matching. Alright, well anyway. I'll wait. I'll do a race with this. And I'll my next race will cover the money I need. Okay. Hopefully. Alright, Croatia's up first. They're going to give me the E46 from this one. 
Is there a, uh, what's the, well, 25 grand, that'll give me the tires. Alright, this should be fun. What's up, Carlton, how you doing? I think the M3 that I have right now is like the most you could do with it. I just murdered a classic. A man's destroying a classic. Boom! Closer, I get closer. I'm burning now. Just by me. Until you don't know how. <laughs> Everyone's like, ah! Stop! Don't stop TK. That looks like Ver Mantis Green. I'm so sorry. I love seeing my car on the track, man. It's so dope. And I'm toast. Listen to that gearbox, man. Holy shit. Shit, I'm losing time here. Go. Straight cut ears. You hear that? That's awesome. Proper racing transmission. I love all the subtle details they include. say the A pillar is causing a bit of a blind spot. Yes, there are Lamborghinis in the game. I did the same thing last time, I went a bit over. included like an M performance wheel so you can at least see what the top of the steering wheel is you know or help you keep on track I'm surprised you can't add any force induction 
to the S65 because you can in real life. You can add. I mean, it's more so common to do like a uh, centrifugal supercharger rather than a positive displacement. And some people have turboed this car, but it requires a lot of work. You know what I mean? Like you have to change everything. It's revving to 9K, which is crazy. It's, I didn't think that was possible. Because mine revs to 85 with a tune. Why am I not braking? Oh shit, I'm gonna shit my bed! Well, someone get him off the track, he did. Now what? Now it's gonna unlock the Nurburgring? There you go, we got the E4. So we completed the list already, because we already had the E92. Man, I wonder if they'll let me go Laguna Seca Blue. I if they'd let me repaint it with Laguna Seca, that'd be sick, like the E46. I would love to. That was just a single event, I gotta remember that. Okay, back to the cafe. That's cool. What's funny is they decided to skip the E36. The E36 M3 isn't even in the game, I don't think. It goes, they skipped the second gen. To be fair, the American, the North American E36 M3 was so detuned, it wasn't a real E, e sorry, it wasn't a real M3, which is absolute garbage. I don't know why they did that. The Eurospec ones are much better. Completes your M3 collection. Once you collect your rewards, I've got some stories to tell you about these cars. So another roulette ticket for three star. Chris, we have already talked to him about my car, so we'll just hop in. The BMW M3. What's up, Devin? I'm from Canada. BMW is a manufacturer that has seen great success in touring races where the race cars are based on production models. At first, BMW's in-house sports division ran the company's motorsport activities. Then, in 1972, it set up a subsidiary company called BMW Motorsport. The new company's technical department developed engines for formula machines as well as touring cars. In 1993, its name was changed to BMW M, which is still used today. The amazing cars you see here are all production models developed by BMW M. Even among the rest of BMW's retail lineup, these stand out as being especially powerful and popular models. The first generation BMW M3, which made its debut in 85, was the base model for the company's touring car. Designed from the ground up as though it were a race car, it remains a legend among M3s to this day. They're, so ex they're, they're worth so much money now. It's silly. I think I'm at 11 now. 11, level 11. 12. I just hit 12. All right. Alphas. So meaning we'll be able to get the alphas, but we'll be stuck on the side of the road. The Mito, 4C, and 8C. Two of those are very rare. One of them is more common. And it was like a read. I think, honestly, the Mito is based off of the... Shit. What's it based off of? I think it's honestly based off of the Yaris. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, for this menu, I like to collect cars made by legendary Italian manufacturer Alfa Romeo. The highest performance versions of several Alphas are called Quadrifoglio. Excuse me, Quadrifoglio. Quadrifoglio Verde. The name means green four-leaf clover in Italian. Of the cars you need to collect, the AC Competizione is the most powerful. Be sure to admire this one in your garage. There's a ward if you can collect all three. Come back here when you're done. I like how they keep you on track to um, getting new cars. You know. Let's see. Okay, let's open the gifts. There's only one, but... Let's see what we get. I wonder if there's anything higher than three-star. That's the RCF, right? Yeah. 
I wouldn't I'm always down for new cars, but money's nice too. It's gonna skip. I knew it. Like what are the odds that we were like to unlock something with decent amounts of like, you know, potential. It's frustrating. I thought it'd be faster to go this way. What is with the image? You see in the picture, it looks like there's like a white blotted out thing. It's weird. Okay, so what's our current goal? Let's go see what tracks we have. What's up, Ben? What's up, Evie? All right, back to Asalche. Brands hatch again. The Clubman Cup, they want 600 or greater. We currently do have that. Um, there's no restrictions on this one, so we'll just keep it going. Oh, there's a Kuntesh out here. Shit, I'm going off. That's a bad start. I'm just going to restart. That's rough. It's Brands Hatch. It's always that first corner that does me in. Shit, I still almost did it. Tires! Oh shit, I forgot about the tires. That's why my my handling would be so much better. I can't believe it. Man, look at that Porsche, that's sick. this race for the Mito? I, there's a guy in our city who drives a 4C and he winter drives it too, like a maniac. I was like, what the hell is that doing out here? Tash. I mean, once we get those new tires, we're going to be gripping so much better. That gearbox is like heavy. Are you hearing these downshifts? He really shut the door on me there.
thing is handling absolutely fantastic. That was fun. Good race. I'm getting tires. I'm getting race tires. Proper slicks. Because these are okay, but they're just not... All this horsepower and all this like weight reduction, you need something to actually stick to the road. I got 50% more because of the clean bonus. If it's clean race, you get that 50%. I forgot about that. We unlocked the Mito. Which was a Yara. I'm pretty sure it's Yaris based, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it'll be magical. Oh, shit. I forgot I had Nitrous as well. I totally forgot. I don't know if that was a great track to use Nitrous on, though. Per se. Ja feel? Oh, Ja definitely feel. Alright, well, anyway, let's keep this puppy rolling. I'm gonna back off. I'm gonna go back by the tires. I wanna go to the Nurbin Nurgenbergen Regen Glegen Schlergen Badergen. The Fliegen Flagen Bagergen Ring. Uh, racing. Is it under racing? Yes. I'll go racing soft. Get that puppy up to a 717. So, I, I wish it would let you weight reduce. I guess I could do rigidity as well. I didn't even think of that. See, it only lets me do up to a stage 3, which is kind of rude. I, I don't know why I can't reduce. It's just like, no, nah, this bitch ain't getting any lighter. Increase rigidity. Why not? There you go. I forgot. I missed out on a couple things. Semi racing. See, I have racing. I wish they could say like, oh, like it, like it would like blur something out if you didn't have, um, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if I need these things. I'm just gonna buy them. I'm just gonna make it so I can, you know, get out there and be somebody. You know. <laughs> All right. What else do we need from here? Anything else? I've already. I mean, we've already got the race transmission. We've got something better than this. A turboed version of this would be so fun, man. Like, big turbo. Oh, my God. You generate so much power. It wouldn't even be funny. Would not even be funny. It'd be absolutely off the cheese, eh? Anyway, I think that's what we need now. 2,700 pounds. It's a pretty light M3. 4.2 liter stroker. Yeah, of course it is. Nas is real. Nitrous, bruh. It's like giving your cone a snort of cocaine, or your car a snort of cocaine, pretty much. All right, this is for the, is this for the 8C? I believe it is. This should be so, this is going to be like night and day. Now, there is, so, now, there isn't really a long straight on this track, though, guys. So, I don't know if it's really going to make sense to use nitrous here. Let's go, this should be fun. The car is more aerodynamic and rigid now. Wow, do I feel faster though? I don't know why. I don't know if it's because the tires can actually put the power down. Like actually grip it. I don't know. Like we're not spinning as much. You know what I mean? I don't know if that's what's happening. I think because I have better tires, I'm not spinning as much. It does feel faster. So the you know they don't have to work as hard. Dude, it feels faster. You can tell. It's just feeling. It looks faster. Like, see how the shifts are cleaner? It's not spinning in those gears. It's not bouncing off the rev limiter. Whoa, 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 shit! That bit me. I was not giving it any respect, apparently. I just, it, it just bit me right there. Holy hell. I 
want to use nitrous, but I don't at the same time. Not, I don't know if this track's gonna, like, I'm gonna bite myself in the scrotum if I use it. I need a long straight. I want a track with a long straight, and then I'll use it. This one has too many corners. Look at that, I can break way more efficiently too. Man, I'm so glad I got tires. Thank you, Dave, for reminding me. If I didn't get that, this would have been more of a struggle. far from the apex on that one. terribly. breaks. Woo, that was a fun track. This car has like been reborn. It sounds so much meaner now too. My daily workout now, look at that. I've done, I've been here for like four hours almost. 
and I've done more mileage than the, yesterday's stream. Well, that's not mileage. That's your that's your workout. That has nothing to do with how like how long you've been driving, how many kilometers you've driven. Oh man, we're so close from getting that 13. I don't know. I would I would like to see that two flight. I'm assuming there will be DLC in the future because right now their car list is actually kind of small when you consider it. Like it's just like wow, there's a lot of missing vehicles. Not even just like classics. Like I'm talking like there's a lot missing. You're like okay. Oh, this has a long. St oh my god, guys, we're gonna use nitrous on this bitch. It's gonna be so fast. We're gonna hit our like our new highest top speed. Are you guys ready for this shit? It's gonna be the money. It's gonna be the business. The rod bearings are gonna need changing just after one race, bro, for real. The C8 is not in this game. The C7 is the newest Corvette. I don't know. That could honestly be like a DLC plan, though. We're not at the straight yet. I'll tell you when we're doing it. Oh, my God. Break overtake. I can't remember what the difficulty names are, but there it's the third one in. Like they're in like into like it's kinda hard to really answer that per se because there's so many factors. Like I have like a few driver's assists on at the moment. But I've also got, like, the AI on a harder difficulty as well, I think. So, it really just depends. Shit. We're covered. That was a waste of nitrous. Shit! I didn't do it right. I mean, because I, I did that corner so badly, I wasn't ready for nitrous. There is a lot of spray, though. Keep in mind, one spray does 40%, so I gotta... If I really want the boosts, I can up it. I can make it, like, 50%, 60%. one that's like in the Alps or whatever. It's in America, I think. It's not Alps. But you know what I'm talking about? It's the one that that long straight through the bridge. That's the perfect time to do it.
I think I got up the spray. It, it, it's just not enough. I'm gonna modify that a little bit. The spray comes out a little too slow. I mean, to be fair, that wasn't the ideal track to use against it, but it is what it is. All right, we got ourselves the 4C out of the deal. That's another one finito. And we're car level 13 as well. Ooh, metallic. Holy hell, look at that bad boy, hey? It's all shiny. I don't know if it would work, though. I mean, I don't know if I'd like it more than what I got. I'll take it, though. That was fun. I want the Nürburgring, though, man. I, I deserve the Nürburgring at this point. I'm surprised. I mean, it's there. I guess there's this, but it's just a cash reward. It's not like a story mission. And we don't even know what it is yet. You know what I mean? We don't actually have um, the stats unlocked for it. Look at those alphas. They're all broken down. <laughs> Congratulations, you've got all three cards. This completes your alpha collection. Once you've collected your rewards, I've got some stories. Okay, obviously. New roulette ticket. All right, what do you got, buddy? All right, one of the oldest of Italy's many car companies is Milan's Alfa Romeo. Established in 1910, it's been around for more than a century. You can get a taste of its amazing history by studying its logo. It combines the cross of the city of Milan with the snake that represents the local house of Visconti. While both the company and its logo remain strong to this day, in 1911, Alfa Romeo took part in its first Grand Prix race to compete with other manufacturers from all over the world. In the 1920s and 30s, the company won several races and championships in succession. God, that's a gorgeous car. Building on this success, Alfa Romeo decided to, it, to produce small numbers of production cars based on its race machines. And Alfa Romeo has remained a producer of high-performance cars ever since. Alright, use circuit experience to learn about a track. What is that for a menu book? Claim victory in one lap attack of Dragon Trail Gardens. Okay. We'll unlock the Autodromo Nazionale. The Monza. Now that you've added some powerful European cars from BMW and Alpha to your collection, I'd like you to enter the European Championship. I don't think you've ever raced in Europe before, so I hope you enjoy it. Head over to World Circus and select Dragon Tail Trail Gardens in Europe. Use the circuit experience. Okay. Once you've managed to score bronze or better your practice lap, this menu is complete. Using the circuit experience feature to learn the track is key. Okay. Okay, circuit experience. I'm gonna go ahead and just fine tune my M3 a little bit. I have a gift as well. Let's see if we actually get anything decent. Like I said, I've only ever gotten cash from this and I've unlocked a lot of these. There's a gold bar. All right, big old pile of cash. That should be about eight grand, 10 grand maybe. I got 10 grand. I'll take 10 grand. That's fine. All right. I was going to adjust my nitrous. 
Let's boost it to like 55. I just want to... Uh, yeah, we'll try 50. If it's too much, we'll change it. Um... Top speed. So it changes the... Can you imagine going all the way up? But it'll take forever to get up there. So you definitely don't want that. 310. Let's try 330. Oh, it didn't save it. There you go does go oh it goes down hey interesting hey i didn't realize that so if i drop that let's say i drop it to like 200k yeah this must be a i think 330 or 310 must be like the sweet spot 300 maybe not I mean, that's not really that much, is it? So it does drop, but honestly, it's not worth changing it. It just it just depends. You get more power quicker, but your top speed's limited. That, that's not going to work. Like, look at the max power, 9,600 RPM. It can actually hit 90. That's what it's revving to. That's absolutely insane. So it wasn't even 9K. It's revving to 9,600. And its max torque is 3. 350 is still pretty low, though, but it's 4,700. It's a lot lower in the band than it used to be. So that's good. Usually max torque was also up at the top high end at like 7,800 RPM roughly. Okay. So what is this that I'm doing now? That's something I'm curious. Dragon trail, but they want me to do the, oh, circuit experience. It's a different, it's a, it's another tutorial basically. There's a big straight here. So 27 seconds for gold. Sector one doesn't matter. Should we? We should. Oh, there's the full one lap. Let's just do the shortest moment, just to speed this along, because we don't have to do all of it. Oh, they gave me a set car as well. That sounds like something out of Star Wars, or that rough. rough Doesn't it? It sounds like a, a speeder coming down to a close. Making a lot of noises, this thing, man. It's like you got a rabbit. It's like you got a bunch of gerbils or something in here. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, just shy of the gold skis. I gotta get the gold on that. Got it. Much faster. Is that all they wanted us to do? I actually don't know. Claim victory in one lap attack. Oh, sorry. They want me to do the whole thing. I see. Sounds like a squeaky toy. Shit. Ah, oh, fuck, man. 
I made one mistake. I was pretty good for the most part, but... Oh, I didn't like that. There's so much to do in this game. Like, you have to do all these goals, like, across all the tracks. Like, that's insane how long that would take. I don't like it. If it's so early, I might as well just do it. It has been so far, Gareth. I haven't won anything but cash from those spins. I went off. God damn it, man. I'm making these stupid little mistakes. Oh my goodness. Fucking being an idiot. Uh, my original turn was so much better than that. Not sure if I'm gonna do it, but. Three, 39, 40, 40, no way. That, I'm not even gonna, I'm gonna get bronze. That sucks, that was a rough lap. See, it's all about learning the track. I'm not gonna go for gold on these ones. Just because I think it'll take too long, so. It's not a priority at the moment. Only got 6k. The fact that you get 15 for doing a single, I guess it makes sense, but that was kind of shit. So you start with all the stages, you learn the fastest routes, and then you do the whole thing. You know, once you practice up. Yeah, I'll be doing Skywalker Saga for sure. All right, you've done it. Nice work. I'll bet you've got a good understanding. Next, I'm going to ask you to enter a championship, but don't worry. I haven't forgotten about your award. All right. European championship. Oh, what the? Finish top three. We'll unlock Colorado Springs. Good feel. Now it's time to take on the European championship. Your goal is to finish top three. All right. Same as always. That's dope. Uh, it's it's really solid. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's it, bleh. there is solid feedback in that system for sure. 
Although you kind of get used to it. Honestly, you kind of get used to it. I mean, that's kind of the goal. The European... Wait, so wait. It doesn't look like there's any more space for anything else at the bottom, does it? This might be the last championship, but we still have stuff to do in Europe. Do not leave Europe or Asia. Your Nürburgring is on there, but it's the Grand Prix track. It's not It's not Nordic Saipa. So... It's a section of the Nürburgring, but at least we're going to the Nürburgring. This is the actual garden. Wait, I didn't see what they recommended. Shit, but I mean, this it, we're probably fine. It's it's pretty fun, D Wing. It's it's like a sim game that gets you that constantly throws new things at you, so you never really get bored. You know, it's a lot of fun. the Delta, man. I love classic Lancias. this game coming out? It's out now. Launch day was today. Break late, see it screwed up my line. Honestly, never really noticed them. Holy shit, I forgot I had nitrous. Drifting like a boss. that bad boy up to speed pretty quick.
I got an itch. Yeah, I'd say the boost is better with the nitrous now. It was very weak before, but now it actually has some. It uses up quicker, but it's all for the greater good. That's only our first race, though. Got the clean race bonus, extra 50%. Making that money. Oh, I don't want the replay, sorry. All right, Monza, we haven't been on this track, but it's one of the fastest, uh, fastest races or tracks in the Formula One circuit for sure. It's got that long straight. I love this dynamic start. dangerous tracks in the yike my bad I didn't I had to break waste what's up Travis I'll wait on this final stretch and I'll use the boost. This girl, let's use it now. Join the 200 mile an hour club. That's the fastest I've ever gone. Oh, that sucked. I'm on the sand now. Side, oh God. That was a rough line. I've already used a lot of spray, so I'm gonna have to be a little more conservative. I'll wait till fifth gear before I use it. A little drifty there.
I saw 323, I think. Simon. We used up all our nitrous. That was some serious speed. That was awesome. That nitrous just cheeses, doesn't it? Alright, now it's time to head to the Nurgen Blurgen Flurgen Flurgen Schlurgen ring. It's our personal favorite. Yeah, Sierra, we have quite a lot of snow. We snowed in, we got snowed like on pretty pretty dramatically the other day. The most snow we've had in like weeks. Alright. Let's get that Nurgenbergen. Nurgenbergen, Burgeshergen. But it's not the, it's not it's not Nordish Life, so it's not gonna be as long. Uh currently I've got the race, uh like the I guess I think it's considered the race they're basically slick tires. Racing slicks. Oh, we're in the wet. Oh man, I not what you can do. You can you can spend money on the high performance wet tires. If you want. Rain's getting intense, holy shit. Go! That, what happened there? He wouldn't reverse. Shit, I lost a lot of time. Now I gotta make it all back again.
I wish they made more mistakes, you know, the AI. places to make up. I'm like seven seconds behind. I gotta be careful with that nitrous on this track. Is that what it's called, Diego? I didn't know what rain was. Get the fuck out of here. R Sorry, am I saying it correctly? Rain? Drying up a little bit now. I think it's getting a little sore now. But that was the last one of that championship. Good stuff. We 
We took that one. 2014. I wonder what they're gonna bring us next. Kind of a random amount of cars. That's that's kind of bizarre. Two classics. Challenger. Hey Don. Or should I say bonjour Don? Right on, Kane. Glad you're enjoying it, bruv. Oh, sore fingers right now, guys, for real. Do I have any more coffee left? Oh, shit, I still have coffee left. There's still quite a few of these um, championship, or sorry, a few. Um, sorry, uh, Grand Prix, I got a Grand Prix. I don't know what they're, I can't remember what it said. Well done for winning the European Championship. Your award is ready to collect from the usual place. Um, a World Circus track is... That's it, World Circuits. I couldn't remember what the hell it was. Ford Collection. Okay. What are you having me get? Focus RS, Ford GT, and the SVT Raptor. It does have licenses, yes. There's like a final exam and everything. You do let you go for certain what licenses at the start, or you know, different grades. Okay. What are we on to? It's probably going to ask that I do an American. Yeah, we unlocked a new location. Colorado Springs and then Daytona. We're going, actually, we're going to Colorado Springs, Willow Springs, and then Daytona. Ah, this is a pickup. This is a track race. Okay. So they require us to have either the, the Tundra or the Raptor. Well, in that case... What's funny about that is they want me, they'll give me the, the, the Raptor to, to, but I need the Raptor to, to drive. That makes no sense. Why would they do that? All right, we'll, we'll go bottom up then. Oh, it's another pickup truck race. Are they all pickup races? Dude, they're all pickup truck races. So I got to buy, there's no sense in buying, um, the, the the raptor if you're gonna unlock it, you might as well buy the tundra they're basically saying go buy the tundra that is actually pretty stupid so i actually have to go to brand central and buy myself a truck which is fine but it's kind of bizarre oh no it's uh toyota but i think the tundra's made in america i know the nissan titan is yeah let's go you know performance is when you see it can you imagine, a, like, a tuned Prius just, like, absolutely OP as fuck? That'd be hilarious. Look at these baby things. Anyway, let's buy that Tundra. 5.6 liters. That's a big Bertha. It's 62K. That's not bad. I have three color choices. I actually like Voodoo Blue, so I'm going to take it. Heavy haulage. Bought a pickup. Honestly, just for the lols, I should I should just buy a Prius just and, and mod the crap out of it. Alright, so these are all truck races. I have an invitation. Wait, what was the invitation? Hold on. Wait, what does Pagani want? What's my invite? What's the invitation? It allows you to purchase this special car. Well, I don't have the money to purchase it, so it ain't that fun. I think the two-tone with carbon looks way sicker than the all-solid colors. The two-tone carbon. Badass. Their blues aren't as nice. Full carbon? Oh my god. Full carbon Huayra. Actually, the red is pretty clean. That Dubai Carbon, Rosso. Actually, the what? I don't know. And then the Zonda R, which is going to be stupid expensive. It's like, you can, we want to call you up. We're like, hey, yeah, we can, you can go ahead and uh, compete. 
Anyway, I can't afford that shit. So it's good that it's funny that I have the invite for it. All right. Well, let's see. Let us see what they require for recommended specs here. Then, um, they recommend. Oh, I need dirt tires. That's it. There's no recommend. Oh, 420. So I'm gonna have to do a bit of. I'm sure the dirt. I'm sure. Okay. Changing. Okay. All right. Let's tune this fucker up. I'm actually excited. This is our first off-roader. First thing I'm going to do is get some dirt tires, which are right here. That'll bring us up to nearly the recommended PP, which I know it's funny as hell. Do we want to... I think we need a supercharger for a big boy truck like this. I think we should just OP it because we can. We got the funds. High-end torque. Do we, I don't know if we want high-end torque with this, though. I think we might want low-end. Because it'll get you off the... Because you, you're, you're, this is mainly going to be for dirt. So I'm going to go with the low-end torque. That's what we want. We want to get going more frequently. So anyway, uh, racing intercooler, no no question. Racing air filter, easy enough. Uh, the exhaust, that'll help us something. Fierce. Uh, do I want... I don't think this needs carbon ceramics. So let's go with those. I don't need fully customizable. I'm good with... Well, actually, do we need height adjustable suspension in this? I don't think we do it yet. Weight reduction is a good call on a heavy-ass truck like this. So let's go with our weight reduction. Look at the weight difference. We dropped like 600 pounds just like that. Another 600 pounds. Holy shit. This is a light truck. We are ripping everything out. There's no serious radio anymore <laughs> it's all gone new headers i'm all about them headers i mean they recommend uh 500 pp right so i'm currently doing pretty good there new pads racing tranny it's 20k i don't want to do that yet i'm not sure if i want to do that yet i might save some money might save some money. Rigidity might make sense for a truck like this, but I think I might save some money. I've got the limits. I think that's a good start. No, it has music. I just have to turn it off for copyright's sake, unfortunately. I'm just curious what kind of mods you can do. Let's see if there's a wide body kit for this. Turn it into like a trophy truck. It looks, I mean, it's got like guards. I actually prefer a slimmer body with bigger tires, personally. But I'm curious, I'm curious to see what other mods it's got for these. It looks like it's got like a weak chin, you know? It's giving the truck a weak chin, but it's more simplified. Can't, can you just put a wing on the back? How stupid would that look? Yeah, you're more limited now. That looks really weird. That looks really chintzy, doesn't it? I would want like a big ass fucking, you know, proper, you know, off-road kit. Red makes sense. The Brembos make sense here because it's blue and red kind of a style. Yeah, there's nothing I really want to do to it. If anything, I'd go with a bigger, t bigger tire, but I think that's about all you can do, so. Oh, what's up, Bryant? How you doing? Adreha, Adreka, hopefully I said that right. What's up? Hey, Tired, welcome. Glad you guys could join us today. So, before I get started, I'm going to use a bathroom break really quick, and then I'll be back. You got, you, you know, it's a distraction you can't have, so.
getting chromed out a little bit, I noticed. So I closed them blinds, reduced the glare. Sorry, guys. So I've done one, I believe, one dirt race already, and it was just kind of like a brief challenge. It wasn't anything to do with an actual race. So this one is going to be like our first proper pickup race. And I don't know if they had pickups in the last game. It's been a minute, but it's all off-road. So this should be fun. And I'm hoping that our truck is balanced well for this. We shall see. So we're going to unlock the Raptor, which is kind of annoying because you have to fully kit up your Tundra. You, well, you don't, but you got to buy the Tundra because there's been nothing to give it to me. So they plan it that way. Shit, sorry, my whole computer just decided to switch shit on me. Sorry. There we go. Okay, ready, go. There's no countdown. Dude, I matched the truck, like, perfectly, like, my suit. Shit, what happened? What was that about? I just kind of switched directions. Guys, my chat, I accidentally scrolled it up so I can't see any chat right now. As soon as I get a ch chance, I'll switch it. It's a completely different type of racing right now. Ah! Whoa! Managed to salvage it. Holy hell, that was crazy. Much less braking, you basically use a bootload of power to steer. Dude, this thing is badass. This is fun. Wanna go off that, you wanna go off jumps and it's fairly straight, otherwise you're sliding like a ding dong.
That was crazy. That was fun, man. That nothing. It's a completely different style of racing now. Like, there's like all bets are off. That thing is just loose. You can just literally chuck that thing right into the corners and it'll just slide. You don't really have to brake that much. You use basically the power, you know, to kind of steer for you. You know what I mean? The whole thing, you, you just literally whip it into corner into corner. It's awesome. This truck is going to pay for itself in no time. So that's, that's badass. And we got the Raptor out of that deal. But we're not really needing to use it. Although it might be more powerful. It's got a bigger engine. 6.2 liters. It's the SVT as well. So it's... Good shit. That was fun. I've always liked the Raptor personally. I, I do like how that truck is. That looks... Now there's like the Velociraptor, you know, Hennessy got a hold of it and they just like did their thing with it. Oh, we have to switch tires. Oh, wait, it says the pickup truck race. It's just a standard track. Wait, wait before I switch it then, let me see. Is the other one a dirt track? No, I got, there was only one dirt. Now we're doing regular racing with a truck. Not sure how I feel about that. So now we got to buy ourselves some, which is honestly kind of sacrilege to me. If you ask me, if we're doing like racing slick tires with a pickup, it makes no sense to me, but hey, we're spending the money. So there you go. That's so weird to me. That is really bizarre. But, if that's what they want, that's what they get. So it's got to be a pickup, and it's got to be a road vehicle. Uh, there are hybrids, I know for sure. And I think there are e Formula E cars as well. And Yes, and there are Teslas. Yes, there are Teslas as well. So yes, there are a ton of electric vehicles. This is just going to be strange to me. Now it feels so grippy. It's like the polar opposite of what it was. It sounds dirty, doesn't it? That's a dirty sounding engine. Charger is going to really help us. actually handles quite well given the circumstances as I go off the track
What the hell happened? Shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I'm still in front. <laughs> Damn, she just sent it. That was close. Can you imagine if that was the last lap? I can't be too cocky. It's easier to control it on the dirt than it is on the track. Much cleaner. Still not very fast, at the, like at the high end, you know. It's not. It's a lot of weight you're trucking around. You would need something that was in like the thousand horsepower to kind of keep that in a maintainable spot, you know. There you go. We got the RS focus. That's going to bring us to a 14. Oh, it's not! Two points away from level 14. That was just unnecessary. That's rude. All right, we have another road race to do. I don't remember where, but... We will find out in a minute. They're going to give us the Ford GT for it. So, I'm good with that. This is going to be an oval race, so we're just going to go... This won't be that bad. It's five laps, but... Should be laughing. That 4 GT is going to be sick as hell. Whoa! Oh boy, shut me out. Tried to. Boost! Thank you for the damn it super chat. If you have everything under control, you're not moving fast enough. Mario Andretti. Truth. That's a good point. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. Unfortunately, I think we're at max speed. like a bunch of tools and a bunch of shit in the back like you know what I mean in the box that'd be so funny we just got like rakes and you know bags of sand and you know a freezer for no apparent reason a couch just strapped in there and we're just doing the race like that that's true pickup truck racing in my opinion Oh, that's miles an hour. We're going 247. That actually is quite fast for a truck. I was misreading it. The Speedo says it's in miles, but the one on mine is kilometers, so.
This is the track you want nitrous on. But I'm not going to spend 100k on a truck race when I'm never going to get another truck race, or not frequently anyway. mesmerizing, isn't it? You're not on fire, Ricky Bobby. Final corner. That was just a Sunday cruise around an oval track. That was, uh, I was way ahead of them. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Four twenty, yeah. Let's go. There's that Ford GT. Let's go. Now that better give me number four hundred or fourteen. Don't be a punk. Oh, look, new driving gear. I mean, it kind of looks like we, what we have, but it's two-tone, so I can roll with a blue and black accent if I want. Instead of just fully blue, you know? That was funny. It was just... <laughs> just a V8 drone the entire time. But hey, it's part of the experience. Part of the experience. All right, where are you going now? Cafe. I wonder if the cafe just displays every photo. Congratulations, you got all three cards. This completes your fourth collection. Once you collected your rewards, yeah, yeah, yeah. Special stage route X in the US. What does Jeremy have to say about the Tundra? It's no ordinary pickup. It's a super truck capable of dominating on dirt tracks and oval circuits. Any mention of a Tundra makes me think of the Baja 1000 Desert Race. It's an all-night race that takes place on a 1,600-kilometer course in the Mexican desert. It's a challenging race with more than half the cars entered never seeing the finish line. Toyota look at the Baja with this Tundra, took on the Baja with this Tundra tuned by TRD, and the truck won in its class. And did you know that the Tundra TRD also raced on oval racetracks? In 2019, it entered a survival event in Daytona, winning a race in which only 9 out of 32 cars finished. That's cool. Hey, John. Hey, Tracy. How's it going? All right. Ford Motor Company is one of the world's largest manufacturers. It has produced everything from legendary sports cars, such as the Ford GT, to popular full-size pickups like the F-150. It even built hot hatches like the Focus. In other words, the company pretty much built everything. It's not including all its European vehicles, though. Like, European Ford was a little different than American Ford. Just saying. 
The first cars appeared around the end of the 19th century, and they were reserved for only the rich and resourceful. But Ford came up with an assembly line, which allowed for mass production, making cars assembly, making cars accessible to many. They were the first. What was it? The Ford um, Model T was the first car that was made on an assembly line. For the assembly line, the process of producing an automobile was a long one. They were built by hand, one at a time, with workers moving between each unit on the factory floor. In 1908, Ford introduced the assembly line that had the cars move while the workers stayed in place. This resulted in production on a mass scale, which also lowered car prices drastically. One of the cars produced on Ford's early production lines was the legendary Model T. Around 15 million Model Ts were built over a 20-year period. So literally one guy had one job. There could be one guy to install one wheel. You know, that's his job. Wheel, wheel, wheel. The next guy would do, you know, transmission. You know, it would just all start in the chassis and so on and so forth. And it just became a thing. I mean, it's a smart and efficient way of doing it. Around 50 million models is about a 20-year period. The owner of the company then was Henry Ford, and he'll always be remembered as the man who revolutionized the industry. All right, Chevys. I thought we already had Chevys. Maybe we didn't. Well, we kind of did, but they're oh, they're Corvettes. They're slightly different. Jajam, can you please stop with that? That's like the fourth time. Nobody wants to be fat. Seriously, cut the shit. Why do you pop in just to say that? That's super cringe. My God, man. Hurts my innards. Anyway, you may know that Chevrolet produces famous sports cars such as the Corvette and the Camaro. We do know this. These three cars are all examples of Chevy's famous sports cars. Sports cars collect them, then come back and see me. I wonder when they're going to stop us and be like, go get the next license. You know, sometimes they do that. Unless they won't do that. I don't know. Yes, John, I will be playing WWE next week. All right, to the Americas. No, Josh, I don't think you are sorry. I really don't think you are. Considering people have asked you to stop and you continue to do it. It's fucking annoying. Okay. Uh, this is just another, another oval track. It's a narrow. It's got a narrower turn and longer straights. I wonder if I should take out the ZL1 again. People have been asking me to whip that bitch out. And they recommend a 700 for this. Well, I've got it. So there you go. We're ready to rock. So you get the C7 out of this one. It was the first Corvette. Not the first Corvette. But first modern Corvette that I liked. The C6 I thought was ugly. I never liked it. Yeah, you never apologize because they said it, but I said it, and now you apologize. You shouldn't have to only apologize to me. Holy fuck, I should get nitrous. Dude, this is insane! That's top speed. One lap, and it's like just a massive straight. Oh my god! 360 kilometers an hour, 361, 362. Man, we are going quick. Corner is coming up. Dude, this is so cool. This is just a race to see how fast your car can go, really. I 
I mean, who wouldn't want to drive down a track like this just to see how fast your car can go? But at these high speeds, tires wear out so much faster. kind of cheap. Whenever you do this view, it always looks kind of cheap, doesn't it? It doesn't even look like you're going that fast. It's all relation. Quite frankly, uh, the only reason this, this track exists is to see whose top speed is faster. This is the only time where you'd want to like put it all at the high end. That guy looks like he's kind of close, but he's 6.9 seconds behind me. Here comes our final bend. need an oil change after this race. That was pretty epic, man. That was really cool. I mean, I know there's faster cars in this game than that, but at least we have this track now to test it. It's just like... That took us five minutes. You know I'm gonna get the clean race bonus. There's no one to hit. There's no one to hit. All right, we got ourselves the C7. What's up, T-Roy, how's it going? Hey, Josh, I'm sure if I got you. All right. Can you imagine watching the replay of that? That's a cool looking camera though. Me too. I want to do like, eventually I'm sure I will try and go for fastest car with full nitro. Just absolutely slapping cheeks. It's going to be sick. That was fun. All right, Northern Isles. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. It was the logo that tripped me up. All right, here we go. It's another, it's not, ov ov it's, it's partially ovicular. Ovicular? Whatever you say. Oh my God, man. Shut the fuck up. Jesus Christ, man. Why are people so cringe? Yeah, the 69 Camaro is in this game. Wait, I don't know what kind of tires are on this thing. Oh, shit. I think they should be race slicks. This 
car wants to bite you. Four laps, eh? Hey, Marcos. Currently, I'm using a controller until I get a, a wheel. Which I don't know when that'll be, but... position fourth place I still got to make up three it's these big straights oh well not really straights but you know what I mean that I'll make up the time whoops I didn't mean to do that oh god decent recovery decent recovery honestly that up. I'll get him. I'll get him. I'll get him. I mean, I did say a controller multiple times. It's not ideal, but it's what I have, so. It's not bad, though. The adaptive triggers are pretty solid on the, on the PS5, so. There's a lot of feedback. Uh, this is a Camaro ZL1, 1LE. It's like the daddy of all Camaros. There hasn't been any rally yet. We've did we've done like an off-road truck event, but that's about it. We haven't made it to the proper rallies yet, like rally cross and all that. handles surprisingly well given the circumstances. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, those mods really make a difference. I can't, again, I can't remember what kind of what kind of vehicle I'm using. Or sorry, what kind of tires I'm using, I mean. Shit. 
shit, that was a bit too much. Forgivable there, though. I think I'm still using sport tires because I'm I'm bouncing off the red rev limiter. So I think like my wheels are my tires are spinning at certain like higher gears at higher speeds and that shouldn't happen. So I think it's having trouble putting the t the power down. So I need like racing slicks. I don't think there's any slicks on this. Might be worth the purchase. Judge I never said you couldn't talk, but you kept spamming the same shit. Obviously, it's gonna piss me off. God. It's like, you can't get the message. No one said don't talk. Stop spamming nonsense. It's the same shit. Every time someone times you out, it's the same reason. Right now I'm playing with a dual sense. The dual, you know. So it's it's working well. I mean, a wheel would be more interactive, but I currently do not have one. So there you go. Now let's go back to the cafe, see what we're sitting at. Oh, that was the was the oh, that was the last race. I honestly wasn't even think. Well, of course you could talk. I mean, the rule you <laughs> I did I ever say you couldn't talk? I don't I don't ever tell people not to talk. Just obviously you can't spam. I hate when people put the same thing over and over and over again just for me to read it. You know what I mean? It makes me not want to read it. So there you go. You'd think so, Lucci, but he's been around for a while. So I don't think it is. Anyway, Chevy's Corvette and Camaro are considered to be two of the most quintessential. They say quintessential a lot. Quintessential American sports cars and histories. In history, the Chevy brand was established in 1911, named after one of its founders, Louis Chevrolet, or it's probably Louis Chevrolet, I don't know. The first car produced was the Classic 6, a large vehicle with an inline 6 engine. The most famous model is a 2C sports car called the Corvette. Uh, the first gen Corvette was unveiled in 53, absolute stunner, and new Corvettes are still being produced today, cementing the car's place as an icon of American motoring. It's just, Judge, I don't have to read everything because you always want to talk about Superman and fucking Batman and all these celebrities and shit. Like, I don't know how many times you brought off what's her name. Like, you know what I mean? Like, why do I have to engage in your interest? You know what I mean? It's not mine. So there you go. I don't have to do shit. Okay. I want you to try hands at modding an American car. You've got the Pan America Championship ahead, so this is okay. Once you have one, okay, so this the Pan America Championship is gonna be. Oh, I think I thought we'd be done, but well, not done, but okay. So I'm gonna go to the garage. Let's un open. This is a this is a four star roulette ticket. So does that mean it's gonna, it's gonna be high digits, but it doesn't mean anything. What is that bottom one with Citroen? What is that all about? Oh, come on, man. I don't need this. Compatible. So they gave me a, a free customizable computer for the Viper GR4. 
brutal. Okay, well, um... Wait, what did it want me to do? Did it want me to wide body this bitch? I think it did. Yeah, it wants me to wide body this thing. It's gonna look weird, though. Watch. It's gonna look strange. I need bigger tire or bigger wheels and tires, then, just to increase that. So, there you go. Warning wide load. <laughs> look at them stretching it out. <laughs> that's, how it, that's how you do it. But now, look at the overhang, bro. It looks terrible. We need new wheels. I'm not, I'm not running it like that. I'm not running it like that. Don't go back. All right, well, what do we want? Something American, probably. Uh, unfortunately, those are hideous, so we're not going to do that. It has to suit the car. Those are kind of close. I don't like them. They look like dicks. Spoon is Japanese, so that's not going to work. Maybe Oz? Oz might have some decent ones. What are their most expensive ones? Do they have one? I know they're Italian, but I'm just saying. Wrong color, but... Some BBSs. BBSs might fit this car kind of nice. That actually looks kind of sick. The RNs. Oh, so you don't have to repurchase the same wheels if you don't want to. You can buy ones you have. It's a free replacement. They've got to be wide boys, though. You know? That looks more suitable for American, you know? The RIAs. I think I might go... Well, they're 10 grand. Those are kind of sick. Those are kind of steel, though. They're not really black. Those are good for Euro cars, for sure. Like, classic Euro. Fuck it. Let's just go with these. Standard side, my ass. Wide boys. 20s make sense for this, but 19s will be good for the track. Okay. There. Car's got a... We might as well add more kit. This is not... Normally, this isn't the car. Let's put a diffuser. Why not spend some money? Let's make this thing look absolutely silly. That That's the stock wing. I've never really liked it. Let's go with this one. That actually looks pretty dope. Well, they actually have options. Oh, that's sick. I didn't know that. Medium is pretty good. Low is kind of ugly. High doesn't suit the car. Well, I guess the high does suit the car, but we'll go with medium. Holy hell, look at all the wings. Actually, I wonder if high would make sense. Type 7 seems to be the common one. That looks dumb. I think 7 is actually the winner right now. Well, look how aggro that wing is. That's crazy. I kind of dig that, actually. Fuck it. Okay, what else? Racing items. Hood. I think it's going to need some hood pins. Do I like type A's or B's better? I mean, that's cleaner, but you can't really see them. Let's go with the type A's. Tow hook. There you go. No roll cage, apparently. License plate. I don't want yellow. I want, like... Let's do super cool. Standard parts. Caliper color. We'll keep it red. This color, this car is actually kind of like, it's like a steel pewter color. There you go. All right, that's our money right there. 
So now we've fitted a wide body kit. I gotta actually I don't I think I gotta go rebuy those tires. I keep saying I, I keep forgetting about them. Yeah, see I have medium sports. No wonder I'm sliding like a dumbass. Okay, let's get these soft slicks. That's gonna just improve the car like tenfold. Like the grip is gonna be amazing. And I, I haven't even done. Race transmission. Active limited slip diff controller. Uh, do we do we need that necess no, I'd actually don't drop it. There's no point. Torque vectoring center diff, can't do that. Brake balancing. I've already got the karmic ceramics. Do I want nitrous in this car? I kind of do. I think I should. I just spent a hundred grand that fast. Um, I actually don't have the race muffler. That'll actually boost us. It's got 800 horse. This thing has 800 horsepower right now, guys. This thing is gonna slap so many cheeks. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fucking get everything. I don't care. This is not. This car can actually slap, so we're gonna make sure it does. Is there anything else down here that I could use? Oh my god, 883 horse. Fuck me. Body rigidity. We just spent like 200 grand in seconds. I know this is so dumb, but <laughs> to spend all the money, I just can't resist, man. I'm going to do it. Oh my goodness. I think that's about all the major parts. The thing's got 883 horsepower with 750 torque. What the hell? And it only weighs, it weighs under three grand. Are you shitting me? Bruh, this thing is going to absolutely slap cheeks. We can even, we're not even done. We can up the bore. 7.99 overall. Oh my god. So now it's a 6.3 liter. Does it have an LSD? I think I bought an LSD for it already, right? Yes. Otherwise, I'd be sliding like a ding dong. New tires. This thing's ready to rock and roll. Normally, I would never ever spend this kind of money on a on a on a Camaro, but I'm just going full out. Why not? You've earned your reward. Now I think it's probably a matter of taste. I just love seeing cars with wide bodies where wheels are offset on the outside. Well, me too. So anyways, you can change your wheels to GT Auto. Go ahead and give it a try. I've done it. Okay, I think we should go ahead and finish up with the Pan American Championship. I think that'll be a great way to, like, finish the stream. I guess we'll see. I'm going to use this new Camaro, and it's going to... Uh, this is going to be the most powerful car we have. It's going to tickle your testicles. I hope you guys are ready for this. Yes, they do. They have every GTR in the game, except for actually the R35. I haven't seen it. The R35, I don't think I've seen it. They have the R32, 33, 34. So American right now, the music, everything. No causes, no, actually, there's no causes at all. It's gonna be high end. For which one, John? Guys, this is gonna be so fun. We're just pushing on 800 peepees. That's a lot of peepees for any man to take. <laughs> oh, so it scrolls left and right. Okay, so I was like, bro, are they gonna do that? All right, National A, three big oval tracks. There's a couple with, this is gonna be insane. I am so excited. This is, <laughs> I am so excited. I just can't hide it. We're gonna have some insane top speed. I don't even know how high it's going. Uh, I actually not sure in terms of the Lambo format. I actually don't think they do. Here we go. C 
See you later! New brakes! Oh! It's still rear wheel drive! It's still rear wheel drive! Let's go! America! Fuck yeah! Oh my god! There's so much power! Ah! I'm sliding at 230! Oh my god! Nitrous, let's go! Let's go! 350! Oh! <laughs> oh my god, that was 350 kilometers an hour. That wasn't even top speed. I need a bigger straight, man. I need a bigger straight. Oh, this vet wants the sauce. I wonder what my average speed is going to be. Shit! I'm okay. I'm alive. That's fine. I'm okay. I can't believe how fast this is. I'm at 40% capacity though. I wish there were less corners right now, honestly. I wish I had more straights. No, you cannot die. Those gear changes are ferocious. like NASCAR level speeds right now. More than that, it's got to be faster. Like I said, given the amount, right amount of road. I'm about to lap this guy. I've never lapped anybody yet. Bye. Imagine if I still had those sport tires. That was wild. I can't, that was like, I, I mean, I was hitting corners at like 350K. That is absolutely insanity. That car is a beast. It's a beast. Oh my goodness. I got clean race bonus for that. Look how meaty those tires are now. They're huge. I mean, they'd have to be. That was fucking dope. All right, next race number two. There's going to be a lot more corners now, but 
We'll see how it handles some of the squiggly bits, because this should be interesting. This should be very interesting. This is a five lapper as well. It looks so mean too. Like 325 tires or something like that. Like those gear changes, man. It's just like a snap. Gotta break late. But even then, the karmic carbon ceramics do it work. GT40 Mach 1, that's an expensive car to have right now. how much power this thing has. The acceleration is like neck jerking. Only lap three of five.
to see how late I can ship. Look at that braking. Three hundred seventy seven K. I don't know what that is in miles, but man, that was fast. Still got half my nitrous. Oh, I tried not to break on that corner, but uh, Currently no, I'm not playing with a wheel. I'm with a controller I would like to get one, but I need to find one that will work for both PS5 and uh, PC Because they're pretty pricey so at the moment I just don't want to spend that money, but I would hope to get one sometime soon. I'm about to lap this dude. That's how fast the car is. Three seventy seven is the, the the fastest I saw. Look at those brakes burning red hot. That was an eight minute forty second. That was a crazy run. Okay, well, that took us damn near ten minutes to do that just because there's so many laps. All right, we got one more in the championship. We're doing well, sitting at the top of that podium currently. And now it looks pretty squiggly. There's five more laps in Interlagos. So that, it's gonna change it. We have yet to be on this track though, I don't think. I don't think we've raced on this track in this game yet.
you, Patriot. Thanks for coming, bro. Yikes, yikes. He tipped me, man. That Camaro tried to take me down. That's a bit of a cut. I would have been penalized for that. This Camaro's pissing me off. Can't get by him. Carbon ceramics doing work. That's some cheese. Drifty out there. Shit, hey, that would have probably ended your night. Shit, I braked super late! 
Oh! I think normally the car would be fucking toast. The red, the red dot has nothing to do with your, your revs. That just has to do with what is helping. Like, you know, there's traction control flickering as well. So those are just what's being engaged at that particular moment. Or stability control, I think I've got. I can't remember. Stability or traction, one of the two is on. I can't remember. Oh my god, I'm going off track a lot on this on this uh, lap. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get back on the track, Jesus. I gotta use up the rest of my nitrous. I keep ca my my body's wider, the car's wider, so I keep catching where I normally wouldn't have caught. I did it again. How does that keep happening? Keep us reading that corner. Uh, I've never heard of Bebop, so no. <laughs> if they do, it's not around where I am. Use up the rest of the nitro on this. And there you go. Pan American Championship. That was a that was a chungus of a course. I'm surprised we don't get more than that. You know. Overall rankings, we got an extra 70k on top of it. Are right, they gonna give us a gift card? It's gonna be a Porsche of one sort. GT3, awesome. It's a 997. I'll take that one. Honestly, that's the one I wanted out of all three. So that works out. I think that's my first Porsche in game. Okay, let's see where that leaves us. With Hootie and the Blowfish. Nine of ten locations. There can't be much left then. He's probably like, oh, sign up for this. Don't want to pay have, have your reward take it. You've earned it. Four star roulette. Upgrade your Porsche. They want me to get that Porsche upgraded. Tune to a PP of 600 to 650. Now that you're the proud owner of a Porsche, I was thinking of having you compete in the Porsche Cup. Cars with PP up to 650 are allowed to enter, so you may find a normal Porsche might be out of its element. 
Therefore, I suggest you head over to the tuning shop and tweak your car so its PP is 600 or more. Don't forget your PP can't exceed 650 or you won't be allowed to enter. So I have to keep between 6 to 650. If your Porsche does not does have a PP that exceeds 650, try fitting tuning parts will decrease or adjust the settings a little. Using a power restrictor will limit your engine output and lower your PP. You can also lower your tire grade or add weight with a ballast. It's up to you. At this moment, menu, I'd like you to prepare a Porsche with less than 650. So 649 is the is the sweet spot. All right. Well, based on, let's go to this World Circuits. We've unlocked most of them. Uh, there's still five of them that we haven't gotten here. There's still one more location in the Americas. But we've got all the Asia, Oceania ones already. 900 horsepower out of this Camaro. Can you believe that? That's absolutely insane. So we're going to have to tune the Porsche. Um, yeah, they should call it like P squared. Maybe we should call it P squared. We can't like maintain that. All right, give me something I don't have, please. It's going to give me the money. I wonder if that Pagani one's an invitation. It's going to be the engine block, yeah. Well, not the block, but it's... What's it for specifically? It's bore up for the BAC mono. So free parts for the BAC. If you ever get it, I don't know. Okay, I was hoping to finish and then like be like, hey, you're going to need to be an S for this next one, but I don't think we're going to worry too much about that. I think we're going to go as the crow flies. This is number, this is 30, so, I don't know, I might tune. I've got 49 of 424. That's just to show you how many there are in the game. But even then, it doesn't seem like that's a massive list. I'm glad out of all the Porsches to get out of those three, like I said, that is our winner. This has been a fun-ass car, but we're going to have to move it. Um, Sorry, where was that 911, the GT3? Uh, it's sorting it L M N O P. So, no wait, what's it sorting it by? The hell? I don't see it. <laughs> there it is. All right, well let's go ahead and tune the car a little. Hey Red. Uh, just going to my brother's place. I think that's about all. So, six fifty is too high. I'm just wondering, we won't be able to turbo it either, so it can't be turboed. So I'm going to give this right off the snuff, good racing slicks. That might actually, oh, whoa, that brings you to a 655. Let's do everything. Um, let's do brakes, carbon ceramics. Definitely, I'm throwing them. That is like that is a staple. I don't want nitrous for this yet. Um, race exhaust. 588. We're still within that region. Um, racing pads. Headers. Do I want fully cut? No, I'm going to go with... Uh, yeah, we'll do height adjustable for starters. So get that lowered weight reduction. It's probably a good idea. So we'll start with one. 612. I'm not done. 621 and then weight reduction tray. It's all the, the GT3 is already a light car. Now it's more in GT3 RS territory. We could still go, we can do a couple extra things. Um LSD. Whoa, 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 shit. Actually, it dropped it. No, this is only a PlayStation uh, game. 633. We can still go up a little. This is probably going to crank it. Ah, it's actually pretty close. Racing tranny. It's pushing it, but we're still in that. We're still in that spot, so we're not going overboard. The stro stroking up is going to actually. Until I bring it up a little bit, stroker engine. Yes, why not? Stroke it. Stroke it, stroke it. How about the crankshaft? That'll probably overdo it. Actually, that's right underneath. New crank. Um, So that can take the more power. And, oh, ho, 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 ho. 
A pirate's life for me. I need tires. It's already got hard sportsies. That's too much. I'm on shitty tires. So maybe I should get... See, if I do, if I do these tires, guys, it's going to absolutely, like, bring it to an unobtainable spot. How about the hard tires? 714. I don't... The thing is, I don't want to be on shitty tires. I want to be on some decent... I mean, I guess they're hard. Let's see if we can maybe restrict the power a little. Maybe I should... Or add weight. Maybe I should add some weight. Let's try and lower this fucker. Oh, actually, before I go back, shit. So let me go and, uh... Do power restrictor. Just in case we need it. What do you mean, Red? Everybody does that. It's called competition. PlayStation is... I mean, Microsoft has titles that you can't play on PlayStation. It's the same shit. So soft, oh shit, spark, soft, we'll lower it. This is actually going to increase um, higher. By lowering it, that's actually going to increase it. So now I'm going to have to... A normal diff. Okay, we have to drop that. So I might go with the power. Um, let's see. I can add weight. Let's see what that does. 670. Let's try doing a round figure, like 100. Still not enough. Let's try going to 200. It's still too high, hey? Put it near the rear, it's completely off weight. That's going to really mess me up. No. Nah. So we're adding weight, power restrictor, oh we're close, there it is, there's the sweet spot, 649.92, alright well there you go, I'll take it, we are right under the cusp, we've added a bit of weight because of that, we'll go and tag it in, the Porsche Championship, we will have to... All right, you got it more. Be aware that if PP goes past, you won't be able to eligible for the Porsche Cup. I've already done that. Thanks. Are you all set? The Porsche Cup awaits. All right, so Circuit de Spa Francochamps and the Porsche Collection. So that's our current one is getting Porsches, which is fine with me. But we'll have to save this one. So they want 911 Turbo, the 930, 964, and 993. I'm cool with those. 80s and 90s. It's finally time to try your hand at the Porsche Cup. I'm sure you've heard plenty of about Porsche. It's one of the world's most celebrated sports car manufacturers among the German company's most popular cars in the legendary 911. And that's what I'd like you to collect next. You can win by win a 911 by finishing in the top three in the Porsche Cup. Are you all set? Let's see if you can acquire three different 911 models. If you can't, I would love to see them. All right. So right there, based on how long we've been streaming, that's where we're going to end it. I was hoping I'd unlock another license, like being like finish all these races all the way up to the point where you want you need to unlock international you have to be an international b before you can do that i don't know if it matters or if they restrict you to only the international a i'm not going to sort by licensing that was just my ocd so uh we're going to end that there i'm going to come back to this next week take the weekend off as you guys know and i'll probably do another big stream i'll probably stream this again monday and then i'll go back to other games on uh tuesday but i will be finishing this game i'll do like all the major books i guess you could say i'm going to look it up and see how many books there are uh, but we'll see how, I, I mean, I'm going to focus on all those main challenges, you know what I mean? Doing all these main ones, unlocking cars, things like that. It could take a lot longer, but we'll be back with this on Monday, like I said, and then we'll kind of switch it off for the week after. So either way, guys, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the stream. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on the stream. It helps us so very much. Comment down below what you thought. Make sure you're subscribed if you're new. I'd love to have you guys back. Make sure post notifications are turned on as well. Hit the bell icon, select all, so you don't miss anything that I do put out. I stream all sorts of games on this channel, not just racing. We have a bit of everything for everyone to enjoy over here. So make sure you subscribe with those post notifications as well. 
Uh, be sure to like, follow all my social medias as well. I got a Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and a Discord. They're all linked in the description. If you want to get a shirt or hoodie of mine, there's a link in the description. It's also embedded right below the stream. You can scroll down, see some of the stuff I have right available, embedded right underneath this video right now. So check it out. Uh, if you want to get, or sorry, be sure to. A snow. I'm messing up my own outro. <laughs> oh man! Big shout out to all the sponsors of the stream: DX Racer, Bones Coffee, The Ridge Wallet, Always Bearded, Mad Rabbit Tattoo, and Jinx Custom Controllers. I've been using a Jinx Custom Controller during this stream. This is the Danky 8000 Mark One build, full carbon fiber with blue accents. You can get this very controller, and you can even swap up the name here to say your own name with the link in the description. Uh, it also comes in uh, PS4 and Xbox, so everybody is covered. You can get your own build with that. Um, you can you, you can save on all those goodies, all those guys down below with my promo code DanQ8000 at checkout, so be sure to check them out. Finally, guys, if you haven't yet, be sure to check out and sign up for the Team 8000 membership program if you want to go a little above and beyond to, to supporting the channel. There are three tiers available with the first tier starting at 99 cents, the entry level. There's also a basic and a premium level. Each one gets their own set of perks, such as badges by your name, custom emojis to use in chat, exclusive videos and streams, and uh, priority in open lobbies. If you go the premium route, the top tier, you'll get your own 20% off discount code to use my merch store as well as entry in the monthly game giveaway where at the end, or sorry, at the start of each month, I take all premium members, throw their names in a draw, pull a name, that person will win a game of their choice. Uh, so guys, check it out with the link in the description. There's also a join button below the video and on my main channel page as well. Guys, thank you so much for coming. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I hope I see you on Monday for some more Gran Turismo 7. It's been a fun one, guys. We'll see you next time, okay? Take care.